Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Hey, Paul, how's it going? All right, let's check my sound, see if I sound okay. Let's have a look. And am I frozen? Huh, I don't hear anything. Is there any sound there at all? Let's see. That's weird. All right, I'm good. I am good. All right. How is everyone doing today? Leroy is on the way. He'll be here in a few. And what is it today? Wednesday morning. And the roller coaster continues. Hopefully, you guys have had some good sales. Might have been okay, even though I haven't listed basically much at all since Friday. I had some drafts saved, so I listed those. Other than that, that was about it. And I haven't actually been online that much at all. What have you guys been up to? Uh, you would think that one of these days I'd get used to getting up in the morning, but I haven't. Ah, goodness. What can I say? What can I say? There we are. Yep, I'm here. Last two days I've slept early. I've still felt drowsy. No one ever really truly gets used to We've been doing this since I think November-ish, November, December, around the same time. I'm still not used to it. I still kind of maybe wake up around, say it's six my time, a little bit after six. I usually get wake, I usually feel like I'm more awake around seven, seven thirty. Nah, man. Right, hold up a second. I'm gonna grab something to drink. go okay all right Got a little bit colder again. I don't know about you guys, but it was nice last week, then it dropped to the beginning of this week or so. It's probably in the 30s now. Yeah, 38 degrees right now. Okay. All 
let's get some I need to get some listings done it's been way I mean I've been surviving off redoing listings what is up Tommy you're up early I don't know how you do it if I was you I'd be fast asleep I actually am fast asleep well I'm half asleep ah. Leroy is on his way he texted me a few minutes back and let's let's just say he might have some uh liquid courage in him right now i'm not sure maybe not yet maybe it's too early okay what we're looking at here All right, let's see here. Yep, I'll be doing some driving myself in a few hours. I'll be listening to your show again, actually, on my drive up. Or drive down, up, yeah, no, back up. I always forget which direction I'm going in. Ah. That's weird. Luke. Yeah, it looks like things have slowed down today. I mean, it was, my eBay was doing pretty well for, I want to say, seven, eight straight days. It slowed down. Might be early in the morning. I don't know. Today's the first lull since, I want to say, March 4th. March 5th, something like that. What is up, Cody? Yep, yeah, I'm listening to that again. I will be in a few hours. That's what I like about Tommy's show. It's a long show. I'm looking at it right now, three hours and 20 minutes. I can just leave it on there. Hey, Cody. It's funny, I have that same exact hoodie that Tommy had on yesterday. I have a bunch of um, North Face stuff. I'm selling that same shirt. No, I think my the people I have people buying in, in advance of getting those stimmy checks. I've I've had at least three people say I'm gonna pay as soon as I get my check. And one I opened a case on yesterday. So hey Jennifer, how's it going? Good morning. I hear lots of banks getting that check today. Yep, I think so. Is I think 
a lot of them were released over the weekend and the banks didn't quite maybe release the funds and I don't know for a couple of days. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I think today, what today is Wednesday, right? Yeah. It's funny how that works. That's why I like this country. People love to spend. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. I think as soon as they say, I'll pay as soon as, it doesn't matter what the answer is. Fill in the blank. It doesn't make a difference. Did Blade Wright finally <laughs> Probably. No, he said he's on his way. So I, he didn't get his 5% yet, so I think he quit. Check for today. And he said 17th of banks held. Yep. Banks held on to the very last second. Uh, so we'll see how things pop off. Get those things listed because people are spending. I haven't listed at all, or I haven't listed much at all since Friday. I think Friday is the last time I listed, other than a few straggling drafts that I had. Uh, when I get home, probably tonight, I'm going to start listing a lot. Even though I bought a bunch of stuff, I have a bunch of stuff with me that I haven't listed. We'll see, though. Have you guys been listing more now in the last couple of days than before or not? Late time, he's got back to 3%. I think I'm going to start demanding 5% from now on. But we'll see. No, I think he has guests with him today. So I think that's why he was a little bit late. So we will see. Hopefully it's not his internet. That would be the worst. But we will see. Bonanza's been popping up for me a little bit too. I always forget about Bonanza. It's on my phone, but let's see here. I do love Bonanza though. If you guys are not using Bonanza, you should. It's so easy. I can't get logged into my bank account. Too many people checking for that. Yeah, I, I think today everyone's just going to be refresh, refresh, refresh. Or a lot of people are. I'm trying to get my higher price death pile up for this check. If you can't list, one thing I do is I just like like Derek's video a couple days back, just refresh your listings, mess around with the pictures, the titles, the descriptions. It's not 100% as good as the new listing, but it's it helps. It's the first thing I did this morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Nick. Nikki. All right, they just sold another. That's not even going that far. Ricky Henderson, A's jersey. It's not vintage, it's like retro. On Bonanza. The size said it's coming today, but I still have to check. Yeah. Those banks are going to hold everything to the very last second. to get actually I have to get to the post office pretty soon otherwise I'll be in shame of mine gets it fills up yeah what can I say okay Anyone live in Utah? I need someone to go punch. 
Byron the nose for a $300 return. Johnny Cosby, $60 in wasted shipping. What? What was it that you shipped? What? $300 return. It's probably something a little bit bigger, I'm guessing. Ouch. $60 in wasted shipping. What was that, Carl? That's not cool. Did it break up? Remote control, believe it or not. Wow. From Canada and back. Yikes. That's painful. No, but if I was in Utah, I'd do it for <laughs> I'm a little far from Utah, but I'm sure there's somebody here from Utah. That sucks. Wow, having $360 to ship from... Yeah, I know Canadian shipping rates, I've heard, are not the best. I was watching... Uh, Tommy was talking about, um, what do you call it? What is that called? Simple export rate that we have from the U.S. So I, I updated that not too long ago. So that helps me. But Wow. $60. Let me see. If I was to ship something to Canada, see if I can get the eBay graphing. Let me see. eBay shipping calculator. Canada. That probably weighed what? Six ounces? Eight ounces at most? Even with packaging, maybe a bar, uh, maybe a dollar. Let's see if I use the eBay shipping calculator, we'll say, I don't know. Large envelope. I don't know. Package or overestimate say package. We'll say fourteen ounces. Zip code. What's a Canadian zip code? Uh, let's see here. I right, put mine in international, select like the Canada, North America shipping calculator. All right, let's see here. Wow, 60 bucks. Oh, it's 33 bucks back to you. Because even me using the eBay shipping calculator, yeah, priority, I guess, would be 33 bucks. No, 27 bucks. I like busting this book. Hey, what's going on, guys? Good morning, Mo. Somebody, uh, someone looks really happy. How's it going, man? What's going on? How's everything? Good, good, good. And first thing I notice, the color and the beads. The color? The, 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 the color of the shirt. Yeah. I'm saying you got the green on. You know it. You know it. You know, I just, I'm because I feel like I'm being big time now. So I got to be, oh, hold on one second, Mo. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Leroy just hanging out, hanging out with my boy Mo. <laughs> oh, my boy Mo over here. Yeah, that's a little show I do sometimes. But this is Leroy. Just wanted to say hi to everybody. Hope everybody has a good St. Patrick's Day. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Oh, all right, Mo. So, um, I was saying, so um, <laughs> you are up early. I'm still half asleep. So all right, thanks for the wake up call. You're like my alarm clock. So it's six o'clock where he is. Right. And you know, it's different. Yeah, it's yeah. six o'clock out there. And I wake up in about two hours now, mentally. Yeah. Right. You got the better part of him this morning. He's been cranky all morning. The, I get the boys here, so yeah. <laughs> the the boys here, Mark say hello. It's popping off. How you doing? How's it going, man? Good, you? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they they drove in last night, so they're gonna go. They're gonna go hang out for a little while. Um, and I'm. What is go. open at this early in the morning, though? Like, I'm, it's, it's still nine thirty your time. Yeah. Coffee, Waffle House. Coffee. Waffle Waffle House. House. <laughs> Coffee, Waffle House. The stuff you come south for. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if you find something good, man. 
Yeah. What's going on, Bluegrass? How are you? Hey, Jennifer. Good morning. Hey, Anthony. How's it going, man? So what are the plans for today, then? Yeah. Oh, he's already off. Yeah. I know. Did you see that, Jennifer? It has a camera crew. <laughs> Did you have, like, makeup and everything this morning, too? You had, like, a make makeup crew, and then you had, like, the little plastic thing they put around you so you don't get your shirt dirty? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, no. No, none of that. None of that. It's even at 9.30. I'm not this awake. So I, I'm I'm in, About 10 o'clock, you're awake. I'm impressed that you're up this early, like ready to go this early. Good for you. <laughs> well, so, um, <clears throat> um, what else is going on? Not that much. Unfortunately, Carl has a $60, well, $300 return, 60 bucks for shipping. So Ooh. I was just, yeah, that was painful. I got a two, I got a $200, um, I got that. Remember those those adapters? Yeah, yeah. I'm still yes. they can't find them, so I'm waiting to see if they, they put a hold. Yeah, they can't find them. So. Maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow you can get on the phone with eBay and just have a little chat with them. Because yeah. I heard it. I mean, you never know. So what it said was he didn't. It said that it was delivered to him. Okay. He didn't pick up because I had signature. Okay. And it was on its way back because he didn't give me the right address, so he didn't pick it up. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. He didn't give you the right address? I, that's what, I, I don't know. He, he didn't answer or something. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, because <coughs> I think you could be okay. Oh, uh, he, you could be okay anytime. Because here, look, I've had a couple of these. These people buy stuff from Europe. They buy, the address is not correct. They don't say a thing. It goes to them, comes all the way back. You're off the hook. I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is what it is. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. Because if I if I don't return, if I don't receive it mm -hmm. back, um, exactly. You know what I mean. So we'll see. I'm waiting to see what's going on. No, <laughs> no green bear, Jennifer. No green bear yet. No green bear yet. So I'm gonna say, if you can find that at 9:30 in the morning, <laughs> that's amazing. I got something in the mail. Oh, good morning, Louis. What'd you get in the mail? I'm not too sure. What is that? Somebody's messing around with you. What is that? See, look at that. He's going big time now. He's see, Jennifer asked this morning, has has Leroy quit yet? Because he hasn't got his five or ten percent. And I said, I think today might be the day. So he shows up with his he shows up with a crew. He's got <laughs> his new shirt, he's got the beads, he's got his gear on, he's got his new shirt. So I think today. <laughs> Uh -oh. You should see. You should see my, uh, my what else I got. Uh oh. So yeah, it, came, it came in a box. It came in a box, right? Oh, it's my a CB, a CB radio, right? It has the. What? what? That's oh, crazy, yeah. man. Who's sending it, you this garbage? And it came in this nice box. Like, look, it's a little dusty. But look at this uh, thing. Wow. Yeah, I got that in the mail. Along with the shirt. And it's crazy. That is crazy. That's what happened to me last time. Not my problem if they give me the wrong. Yeah, if they give you the wrong address, that kind of breaks the, what do you, whatever uh, agreement we have with a shipper, a buyer. It breaks the agreement because they their whole thing is they have to put the right info in. When these guys go, they're gonna leave in a minute. When these nah, guys don't go, worry, don't even worry about that. I'm gonna but I'm gonna show you what's yes. I'm gonna look it up and show you guys what's going on and we'll take it from there. Um okay. cause from what I believe it was sent to them. The post office tried, nobody was there. Okay. They went back again, they they weren't there. Okay. They, they weren't. They didn't receive it. It went back to the post office, and it came back this way, but it's not here yet. So post office delivered, and it has a tracking that shows that they tried to deliver it to the correct address. Yes. Then it's not your fault. Okay. Even if see that's another thing. Even if it was the correct address, but they didn't pick it up, take it, whatever, sign for it, 
again, that's not your fault. No. But they can they can file something, and sometimes the eBay will let it go through the cracks. But if you call them up or you email eBay, they should be able to. Um, they, they it's black and white; they can see that. Yeah. So. Um, Hold on one second. No. Go for it, man. Louis, Louis, look, look at that. He's sitting there like a bouncer. <laughs> look at that. Uh, today's going to be a good day. I'm not sure if he's going to remember tomorrow, though, but, or tonight. No, yeah, returns are part of the business. And $30, that hurts. I, I, yeah, I guess Canada. I never understood why. I mean, I think a lot of our international shipping is expensive, but from what I've heard, Canada is way worse. What is it like, Carl, if you're still there? What is it like for you shipping to other countries? Is it just as bad as when you ship to the U.S.? I mean, U.S. should be better than other countries, right? Um, like Europe or, I don't know, South America, Asia. Is that worse, too? I mean, I couldn't imagine that. That must be painful. Uh oh, am I on camera? On camera? A camera on camera. Look at that. He's even got that fuzzy thing on the top. Strange one ahead was I N R. They eventually ruled in my favor as tracking showed delivered. Buyer gave a positive review. Interesting. Yeah, if. The address is correct. They receive it and it gets sent back. It's not your fault. If the address is incorrect, that's also technically not your fault because they're supposed to have. Good morning, Craig. How's it going? They're supposed to have correct information. Um, <laughs> look at this guy. Actually, it's a lot cheaper for me to ship to the U.S. than even in Canada. It's so weird. <laughs> How's it going? Look, people, we got like a famous person on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shipping rates, I mean. So let's see. Sorry about that. I had to. No, 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 no. Enjoy, man. Enjoy. Send them away. You don't have to send them away. Don't worry about it. We were, uh, we were eight minutes late. I got a message from Paul. Are you all alive today? We yeah, have... Read the mug, man. Keep <laughs> uh, is there a show this afternoon, Leroy? Um, mm -hmm. There is a show, but it's uh, just for Leroy and a few other people. <laughs> private party. It's a private party. <laughs> yeah, it is a private party. Twenty-five percent of my cost of shipping, my margin. Ouch. I wish there is, I don't know if there are, yeah, I don't know what you can do about that. Because for us in the U.S. here, USPS, to be honest, is, I couldn't imagine doing business without the USPS. I mean, we complain about them a lot, but oh, they're no, a lot cheaper. Really yeah, really. yeah. And he was saying that it's more expensive, Some I don't know if it's every place, but actually a lot cheaper for me to ship to the U.S. than even in Canada. Really? Yeah. Where in Canada are you? Are you like, like? Like close to the U.S. border, or like? No, like I'm in South Carolina. Not you. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I maybe if like I don't know, maybe if you're like in Toronto or something, that's like close to the New York border, right? So, or Vancouver is pretty. I don't know. Wait, is Vancouver pretty? I don't know. I've only been to Canada, uh, Canadian airports on stopovers. Uh, I think it was in Montreal and where was it? Edmonton. But at the airport only. Montreal was funny because it's all in French. Not to get into ship. USPS is cheap. Yeah, no, it definitely is. USPS is, uh, like I said, we complain, but it's night and day better than anything else should we take bets on when Leroy will take a nap i don't know man he looks like he's had some 
coffee this morning. I haven't had any. You had any? Okay, we're well, just happy to see your brothers then. Yeah. He's on a natural high. Film me a documentary. The documentary is called How Not to Do a YouTube Channel. <laughs> this is not the guy that you want to. This is the before. Yeah, that's not the guy you want to be in a show with if you want to be famous. Yeah, see, so you know, the, the, the cover is going to be like this screenshot right here with big X through my picture right here. Al <laughs> <laughs> Ray from New York State. Oh, no. Somebody doesn't like New York. Oh, Montreal is a two hour drive away from me. Okay. So, yeah, so he's kind of closer to the, uh, very close to the New York border then. So I'm guessing he's somewhere in there, like Ontario or in Ontario. How many green beers are you going to drink? Does, it, does that affect the taste? I never noticed it. Yeah, exactly. He's already lost count. <laughs> Good morning, LG. How are you? So here's... I, um, I am in witness protection there. <laughs> Uh, make his fine. It's just a part of New York that no one lives in. It's just, oh yeah. I mean, you're talking about like upstate New York, because everyone tells me that anyone that lives in New York say, like New York, like city is different from everywhere else. Like, um, who was saying that? Uh, I think yeah, Emily was talking about that on your show, um, Leroy. Oh, yeah. yeah. How it's like she's been to it, but it's like four hours away from like Manhattan yeah, and all that. It yeah. It's like a different she's world. Yeah, she's in Buffalo. Can I read this to you for a second? I'll go for it. All right. So um, I set tracking up February 25th. Um, tracking, it went to USPS 25th, 25th. It was processed 25th. It was deposited at the main post office. Um, on, and then it like skipped. It went to South, it went to the, still the 25th on, in Greenville. Then it went from Greenville and it didn't track until the 26th in Florida. It stayed in Florida the 27th, still in Florida, 27th, still in Florida, 27th, still in Florida. Um, and then 27th out for delivery. No access, no secure location available. Remain re remain to scheduled redelivery. Unclaim unclaimed beginning return to sender. Return to sender processed. Processed through USPS facilities, and that's all it says on the fifteenth. Fifteenth, uh, so two days ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's the deal. If it never gets back to you, I'm pretty sure if you were to call eBay and it stays like that, they would rule in your favor because it shows that they attempted delivery. We're not able to deliver. Three times. Exactly. So, well, And there's already a hold on my account, though. That's okay. That's standard. There's a hold on your account if they say, you know, I didn't like the shirt and I'm sending it back or like whatever it is and send it back. So they put a hold on immediately. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. What I would do is get a hold of them, however you want to get a hold of them, and just say, you know what, this is a situation. So it shows you're proactive, for one thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure this is pretty cut and dry uh, because it, you have to track. Seems, it, it seems like it. I mean, it was sent, you could, they can see it was sent out. I think it was sent mm -hmm. out the day of purchase. Yeah. The, the only thing is if it does track back to you, to your address, and then they say, hey, look, it got back. Then then they could say, you know what, you know, I want a, a refund because he got it back. But I I mean, right now I wouldn't worry too much. I'd just get a hold of them and let them know. I messaged them and I said, and I showed them a picture of what the tracking showed me. Yeah. And then I left it alone with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as eBay knows, though, I mean, this one looks pretty they they're funny they they go by what the tracking says even though a lot of times you have no control over that but in this case it you know 
it works in your favor. Mm. I wouldn't worry about this one. Those other ones, I would call because I know you had some other like stuff. That you want. Yeah, I would call about those as well. I'm do it all as a lump sum. I'm stubborn. You're not going to do that. I'm going to. I have to because it's make a list. Just write down some notes and say one, two, three. Start with this one. Yeah. I always start with the one that they can fix right away, mm -hmm. and then. Because then they feel like, okay, I'm going to do more. I can do more. Because if you start with a tough one, then they get frustrated. Mm -hmm. I, the way I see it, they're, they're humans too. So if they feel like they can do something, they feel better. About it. Like, oh, okay, I can solve the next one. I can't just call Lonnie. You could. Maybe Lonnie has that kind of pull. I watched that video after mm -hmm. you talked to it, but he, I did he watch did that. Good job. He did a good job. He's very calm. Yeah. I've learned that you have to be calm with eBay, though. Yes. Now I'm like that. Before and I was unless, oh yeah, unless unless I just totally can't understand them, and then the first words I say is, "I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. My connection's getting bad," and then I'll say it again, "I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. My connection's getting bad," and I'll hang up. Yeah. So, if they put it in their system, they can't put. He was mad. He hung up on me. You know, they hopefully they'd say, "Oh, bad connection." Because there's there's numbers, there's codes. You uh -huh. know, they could tell right off the jump was it, was the person satisfied? Did you complete what they wanted? Uh -huh. Were they unsatisfied? Did the call get dropped? Yeah, you know. What and I, mean? I, whenever I can, and especially if they solve my issue, I always fill in the feedback thing. I don't know if it does anything or not, but I feel like they should get credit. You know. And to be honest, if they do a terrible job, I don't really fill in the feedback. I just won't fill it in. I try not to knock people. Um, well, would you guys remember there was a time where they would ask you, um, before this call ends, if you would like, when you were calling, yeah. if you would like us to call you back immediately with the fee feedback, please press one. I always press yes, I was going to leave feedback, yeah. even though I didn't because it was always after. Exactly. I always left, yes, I'm going to leave feedback because – I wanted to make sure my call got through better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like LIG. It used to get me a little bit worked up. Not so much anymore. Because one thing I've noticed is that, let's just say whoever can't solve your problem, um, I'll just call back. Mm -hmm. And I like calling because I feel like <laughs> I, feel I like can get like friends. Yes. No, I feel like I can be as annoying as I want and I can get my way. Maybe that's bad. Did you notice anything different? Was that the radio you sent me? I wanted you to, yes, I did. Uh, I wanted you, even if it doesn't work, because it's untested, to be honest, I wanted you to have something to pretend like you're talking on a CV radio. That's why I sent you that. But did you, did you realize that's not yours? That's not mine? No. Oh, that's... Did you send me a box? I, I didn't send you that box. I was wondering if you put it in a different box. So, it was funny is is my brother brought me a few things. Yes. And he brought me a CB radio. And then I opened up your mail and it was a CB radio. And I my don't know. Brother, me and my brother died laughing. And my brother goes, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should tell him that. You should be like, Yeah, this is such a nice thing. Look at he gave it to me. And it's not even <laughs> the one he gave you. <laughs> I because you showed it real fast. I thought, did he put it in a different market? Okay, yeah. You serious? He gave you he gave you a CB radio, and, and then you gave me a CB radio. And how, how many people get a CB radio in a day? <laughs> I've had, and I just I just thought it was the coolest thing. So I thought you, I thought yeah. you get a kick out of that. I used, to, I used to be on the CB. You did? Oh, when I was a kid, yeah, yep. My See, I I've never been on one, so I figured you of all people would know how to use that. My handle was um, test. Your handle was test. Yeah. Wasn't anything like you know, bear or like no, I don't know, no. roly poly 278. Yeah, exactly. 278 for a radio check. I need a radio check, roly poly 248. All right, you gotta start using that thing now. Did the rest of it come? The, yeah. I'm a little nervous. Okay, I'll, I didn't pack it the best. You I did, to, you suck. No, because I. I I had packed it, and then I thought, oh, my goodness. It's like one thing is three times the cost, and I can't fit anything in there. So I'm like, okay, how do I do this? Hold on, hold on. How many packages did you send me? That's two. You, one came from Amazon. That wasn't for me. That was from Amazon. Okay. And then 
one came in a package with the CB and yeah, it was yeah, a, yeah. Uh, it those were that. that that was it right there. So you put it in a, a medium fl flat. I mean, a uh, medium box. Mm -hmm. And what was the other one? That was it. What you just said. It wasn't. Yeah, it was from Amazon okay. indirectly. Okay, that came first. Okay. Because that comes from their warehouses. So, I'm yeah. gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I really, really want to be able to hang it. Do it. Do whatever. It's yours. Do what you want. Okay. Cut it up. I, I want to put it back there, and I think this guy's gonna be loud today. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. He's upset. He wants to see the radio. Who wants to see my radio? The guy that's cutting up the wood in the back there. Oh. Is Leroy sending out his stuff to the next person? Yes. Oh. And just so you know, I got a couple messages from people. Okay. LAG, LAG, I did get your message, just so you know. Uh, he got me a message. He wants to be on the list. Holly. Holly, definitely. Um, we are going to make this list. I know we've been all over the place, but that this is the beginning. Um, so I, I you know, the only thing I forgot was I left the sheet out. I had a sheet that I was going to send. I so know you did. Yeah, I completely I'm like, left the sheet out. The box, I'm like, what is it? Oh, and here's the other thing. Guess what else my brother brought me? Oh, he brought you a camera. A GoPro. A GoPro? It couldn't have been older than mine. No, 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 it was nothing. Yes, it's a three. Did you see what number it was? Three. <laughs> or two. A three. It's from yeah. like 15 years ago. I want to collect that. I can't. I Keep can't. it. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Oh, but and it, the packaging, that's how I, oh, it, just so you know, I didn't pay for that. If you see the, there's a label on the front. Yes. When I had the shipping store, somebody shipped that and they returned it like 10 years ago. And I tried to get a hold of them. I called up uh, GoPro and they said, there's nothing we can do. Keep it. So that's why I figured, you know, you get a kick out but, of it. But the label on the outside yes. said, um, I'm a piece of crap. Uh, I don't have the box here. It's at the house. Yes. But the label, the name of the company and the label, I don't want to. But it's funny. What's the label say? Do you mind saying it? Because it was funny. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's that would that yeah, yeah yeah. You don't have to say that. So anyone that gets the shipping thing for me, that's that's the the company name I go by. Oh, okay, from that company. Yes, that's because on I the outside it, of the box. I thought that, it was returned. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. I use it. I always use a generic thing because other because when I I've I noticed when I use my own name, everyone like it, it looks weird. So I figured I'd use a company name. Sounds better. So that's. That's my company name. So if anyone ever gets a shipment from me, it's a super generic name. What is going on with these surprises from all of you guys? You guys are being too nice to me. Getting another surprise sometime soon. Too. Uh oh. I'm sure Jennifer's will be a lot better than mine. Whatever it is. Oh, the one thing you're supposed to put the little thingy in the background. The little thingy is in the car. Did you see me kept searching in my pocket? Yeah, I know. You're I all excited. That's okay. Because I was trying to, like, when I had people, like, I always try to, like, be a good host. Yeah. So I was, like, trying to make sure, like, I sat in the back seat, so I was trying to make sure that they were okay, and then they yeah, came yeah. in for a second, and then I was, like, so. No worries. Well, I'm glad it got there. That's the main thing. Yeah. And my brother told me the last minute his wife said that I can't keep the camera <laughs> I was so mad. Well, that's okay. At least you got a, a GoPro from 1942 that you can might maybe use. But the, he has one. He's gonna let me use. Um, it um, it's the one that you have to use your phone with the app. Okay. The small one. Yeah. So I am. I think I'm gonna be able to keep that until I go back up there. Okay. I'm gonna play with that. It's nice. either that or the camera. One of them he's gonna keep so I can play with it for a couple of months. Nice. But the camera would only be used for vlogging. It wouldn't be, I wouldn't walk around with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this, was, one. this was mine. This was my camera. I found okay. it. I, I got it for free. It was in one of those security, um, one of those security cameras. Yeah. Yeah. When I was working somewhere and they said, oh, yeah, you could take that thing. I opened it up and I saw it was a digital camera. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking that. And then I showed my brother said, I want that. And I was like, all right. So I gave it to him. He bought the stand and everything and the mic and everything. But this nice. is the, it, it's just an old um, Canon Rebel. It's a Rebel T5. Okay. 
But it's actually a really nice camera. I've sold an older version of that. Yeah. It's actually really nice, though. So we'll see. If, if I keep it, it'll just be up here, and I'll just vlog with it. Gotcha. So are you going to um, put together a box uh, for the next person list? I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make, I'll make a list. I'll print it out. I'll post it online. Yeah. And then, um, so, well, actually, we should do it. When did you, you can actually, I'll have you update the first entry in there. Whatever date you got that box on, that'll be day, day number one. Yes, do it. Okay. Yeah, and what I'll do is, what we'll do, I think, I was thinking about this, is once the person receives it, then we will tell, you'll tell somebody next on the list, and you'll say, you'll say, okay, um, Holly, you need to Instagram, um, you need to Instagram Jennifer Hayes. Yes. And, and they can transfer the address that way. So then the address isn't being spread through everybody. All you're all you're doing is just saying, and then yeah, Jennifer gets it and say it goes to Louis Longstop Picker. Um, yeah, then she can message him on Instagram and say, okay, what's your mailing address? So the address is just going from the sender to the buyer. Yeah, I mean, from one to one. I'm sorry about this. It's okay. Sounds like the subway system. No, no, no. All he's saying is this: that way we don't give out everybody's addresses. <laughs> Uh, not send me no box. Okay. Well, I think I'm pretty sure Holly's the next on the list. So Holly gets to, and we're, we're going to put together a whole list. So you'll be able to see, we'll, you'll be able to see the names of the people we're sending to, not necessarily the addresses. So that way we keep that private. You know. Jennifer, I'm going to send you a box. I'm going to send you a box of Rice Krispie Treats. I want a box of Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, that's good stuff, though. So, Anyways, I'm glad you got that. We'll make this, we'll get this on the road. At least we got one person with some stuff. Is that shirt at least the right size? Yeah. Because it comes from there. I can never tell if they're, I don't it's know if they're size. size I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be super thin. Like, Do you want me to uh, try it on? You don't have to try it out. I just want to, I mean, if you want to, it's got your logo on it. <sighs> Leroy is giddy today. This is funny. Oh, that's like a power off system. I think it did, Paul. <laughs> All right, that, that fits. There you go. Let's put and sell. <laughs> hey, I'm, 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 I'm surprised he hasn't had any coffee at all. All right, that's <laughs> what is going on. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Leroy's Leroy's merch. Uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it sounds like a subway station in this place. I'm thinking about changing my name again. Why? Your name is good, though. I think you should change it to the Bunny Picker. No, I like Shopaholly. It it's catchy. I thought about that before too. Just let it grow. It will grow on you. No, if you sit here and with the ink, it actually makes sense. It's shopaholic, shopaholic. If you say it together too, I think it's a good name. I mean, to be honest, I, I don't. I'm the one with the boring name here, so. I like yours too. 
I picked mine. You know how I picked mine? I picked two keywords. And I just put them together. All right. What are the two? T and then, and then for some reason I thought, okay, I should have a flip or a reseller or a pick or a picker in there, something like that, which is like the opposite of what most people do now. I couldn't even do the show yesterday because it was so loud. Really? Is that why? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't do one on Tuesday usually. Eric's. Oh, that's right. That's right. I couldn't do it. it, it oh, that's right. I, I was in there and you guys weren't. It was just it was Tim and Sternock and Eric, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Love the shop. Yeah, I think your name's good there. I love to shop too. That's the funnest part. Oh, did you see the like the little things were in that box too? Yeah, I saw, I didn't get to go through everything yet because I had. Okay. I'm still trying to no get worries. dressed. <laughs> to get dressed. Yeah, resellers are. I don't know we're either the best or the worst. We're a bad reseller. Yeah, that's true. Bottom line, you can pretty much resell anything. Well, can I ask you a question, though? Yes. How many push-ups did you do? Uh, yesterday, I did uh, none. But I showed you what I did do, and you said I'd use a chainsaw. I didn't use a chainsaw. I used a regular, it's like, it like a 16-inch, 18-inch blade, something like that. I know we busted the thing. It wasn't the entire tree, it was half a tree. But I was sore after that though. I was my hand oh, my yeah. hand was shaking. I was like, uh, huh? Are you nervous? Nervous about what? About doing that? Cutting the tree? Yeah. No. I've done it before. Oh, it's cut a tree before. Yeah. I mean I've used a chainsaw before. And your hand shakes severely after that too. Oh, it does. It does. I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, this. I thought this was supposed to be easier. I mean, I used it, to use hedge trimmers. Um, Anthony would know. He has the landscape business. Up on a, up on the top of like, uh, I had a pole one, and I'd be up on a tree, and it it is a long one, like, and it's like, it, man, it it probably weighed like 15 pounds, and you got to keep that bad Larry up. That's hard. Yeah, and on a ladder. And guess what? One time I'm on the ladder, I'm up in a, a bunch of, um, they're called, um, um, I forgot the name of the bush, but I'm up on the top. I'm, I'm up on a, an arborist ladder, it's called. I have a, a 12 foot arborist ladder. I'm on the top of it and I'm cutting and I cut. What did I do? I cut in half a bee's nest. <sighs> Uh oh! Were you running down the ladder, or you just jump off it? I or? jumped off the ladder, and I left the saw up on top of the tree. Oh goodness! And didn't get stung. And I waited like forty-five minutes in my back, and I was able to pull the ladder out. Of, I mean, pull the that out of there. Oh and then Was able to go. I had my one of my workers go and get a can of spray. So he went up the ladder, sprayed, grabbed the saw, and brought it back down. And then I had to go back a few days later and fix that one spot because <laughs> I had a little mess up. That's, uh, well, you're lucky in a sense you didn't hurt yourself. Um, I'm trying to look this up. Can changing a light bulb, who is responsible? Uh, Oh, okay. I just looked it up, Holly. Yeah, the renter is responsible. That sucks. Kills my back. Yeah, I don't know how you guys, I mean, that's tough work. Yeah, if you can get like a small ladder, a step ladder. You get like those three step ladders that I use. I usually use use one of those in my garage. I can get to garage is about twelve feet tall, so I don't know, maybe ten feet tall. With those three step ladders, you can get to anything. <laughs> 
Yeah, or even the chair. It's not doing that work unless it's single older woman <laughs> that I can't help but help. Yeah. I don't have one. I need a light there. It's by my door where I come in and go up steps. Oh. That sucks. They'll probably charge you like a hundred bucks for a fifty cent light bulb. You're having too much fun with that blade, man. I love my knife. Uh oh. Found a copperhead and a gutter once. Oh snap. I used the blower to run. You used the blower to uh, fifty feet. I um that and I, I did I, I had a snake and I one time Holly's not gonna like this one. I was trimming with the my guy was trimming with the weed whacker. He trimmed under bushes, scared a family. I'm like a yeah. certain kind of family, and then I came through with the lawnmower, <laughs> and it was all by accident. Oh wow! Hey Tim, how's it going, man? I think you know what happened at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Hey boy, it stunk. I was so sad because like I didn't see anything jump out of the bushes. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was cutting, so he would trim, and then I would run behind him with the mower, and the mower goes like 17 miles an hour. So uh, I was cruising. You know, you're in a small backyard, and you're just trying to, you're, you're just trying to get stuff done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're so trying to get out of there. We had to clean that up before the owner found out. <laughs> oh boy, Holly, you think your son could try doing that, or I, I'm not sure how old he is though. What is she? What's the matter? She she's getting charged by her, um, by the, I guess the apartment manager to change a light bulb. I don't have a boyfriend, but I do have a son. I think it, her son is a teenager. Okay. Just change the bulb. Yeah. Cameron it's, will go down and do it. Oh. <laughs> it's complete opposite. You're closer to her than Cameron is. Cameron's in Oregon. Okay. That kid's a useless. Yeah, if I asked my son, he wouldn't even listen to me. Hey Cameron, speaking of Cameron. What's going on, Cameron? This is this is Leroy speaking, and I just want to say hey to Cameron. We got Cameron here on live, guys. And this is my new vlog setup. And if you want to check me out, go to Blood Sweat and Cell and you'll see every new video that is not coming out with this camera. Cameron, you have a great day. Thank you very much. <laughs> my son suddenly felt sick because I asked him to put my L-shaped desk together. Yeah, it's funny how they Suddenly feel sick. So, Holly, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but yes. sometimes, sometimes a sugar daddy may help, and he could just, he could just, he, you don't have to give him any sugar, and just have him put some stuff together for you and cook him some food, and usually that can work. Yeah, I would need a step stool. Yeah, that's what you need. Is go get a step stool. You can get them for like, um, probably like ten bucks at Home Depot, and they, you know, so that it's not heavy. You don't have to lug around a giant ladder. And it gives you like a good three feet on there. I know. Look at Leroy's fancy camera. Can't hear me talking unless I want. Yeah, that's usually how it is. I'm the same way though, so I can't complain. I don't hear people unless it's something I want to hear. <laughs> uh, just want to put the. Uh, Hey, Julian. Hey, Noel. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Julian. Hey, Noel. And, um, and, um, hey, Sarnak. Holly, don't be afraid to check on YouTube. Um, because if it's, even if it's, listen, I've seen women do on YouTube, they've done, they, how they installed their own ceiling fan, because it's really easy. It's really, really easy. So don't be afraid to look at that. No, I think it's just that she couldn't get up there because of the way it, she didn't have a ladder. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> we were just propositioned. <laughs> uh, so it said Leroy just prop propositioned about Holly. Oh, no, no, no. Read directions, Sylvie. Yeah, the worst is when you shatter the light bulb. You have to take it back out again when it's broken. I heard you use a potato. You shove it in there and you just turn it like that. Oh, get it out. Yeah. I put my own ceiling fan. See, Jennifer does everything. I think yeah. uh, she's a pretty handy person. I'm guessing Noel would be able to do that too. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. William, thank you very much, sir. You have a great St. Patrick's Day. That's right. He's got the nice green logo there, too. And great show last night. I was uh, listening in the background. I wasn't in too much, but I did get my dolphin. Um, <laughs> and that That's kind of right. Stuff. We're all old here. We're older folk. That's okay. I got no problem with that. Yeah, how um, Noel works on her own cars, I believe. I heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I can't do that. I can't work on a car. I'll build just something like some shelves or a desk or something, but I can't. I can't build. I can't. I can put lights in. I can put a fan in. Um, but I can't. I can't work on cars. That's not my thing. Yep. But well, hold on one second. Go for it. I can do the light bulb. I'm just a little far. Packed house for early in the morning. Yes, it is. This is we usually don't have this many on. This is usually what we talk about, actually. Much appreciated, everybody. Tim, I bought a few things of glass yesterday for $1 each. Most of it goes for 10 to 15 each, and I are nice. What kind of glass is that? Are we talking about uh, what type of glass, I should say? I'm a little nervous with glass, only because a lot of times it's not marked, and I have no knowledge when it comes to figuring out what that is. I can do a few things in a car, but I'm no mechanic. My boyfriend does, though. That helps that. I don't have any mechanic friends. All my friends know very little. I mean, obviously, I don't know anything about cars. That's a great ROI. Yep. That is... I'm trying to do 50 listings today, but woke up with a headache. Oh, no. Might do zero now. Yeah. Get through five, and then I'm sure you'll get through 10, and it'll start rolling from there. 50s. I don't think I've ever done 50 in a day. Caffeine. Bowl hit three Advil. And <laughs> you're good to go. There you go. There you go, Tim. A doctor's prescription is in. Huge storms in Missouri coming your way. For, oh, boy. Ah, these storms don't seem to end. What can I say? My boyfriend has a lot of trades. Nice. All that stuff comes in handy. It saves a lot of money if you know how to do stuff. See, I've been trying to tell – yeah, I've been trying to tell Leroy how to do stuff for years. What can I say? One of these days, he'll figure out how to make stuff. My, right, mentor, my mentors are trying to tell me not to do eBay and to do fixing stuff because I know mm -hmm. how to fix stuff. I mean, to be honest, it's not a bad thing to fix stuff. So you can do I that know. too. I know. So I just got the confirmation, not yet, but the confirmation, part of the confirmation is they're putting the order in for my daughter's ticket for next week. Uh, flight ticket? or Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Everybody's coming to see me. There Anybody else want my address? You can come see me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, built Freightliner trucks for 10 years. Holy mackerel. I have all the woodworking stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Noel. Uh, yeah. Noel, seriously. Yeah, she can weld and everything. She's a beast. And not in a bad way, Noel. I'm saying it nicely. Welding is super. You can charge a ton of money for that. Of all the woodworking mm -hmm. stuff. So you do the metal work, you do the mechanical work, and you do the uh, woodwork. 
And I think she does gardening. Like she knows how to do like a, like a real farm too. I think. Yikes. Yeah. Noel, when you get a chance, I know you're a busy woman. When you get a chance, send me an Instagram. I want to know. I want to know if you've ever hit anybody with a pipe. I I just have this vision of like this big metal pipe in the world, just like one of the big guys giving her a knocking him out. Her just squaring up and be like, listen, I'm gonna hit you with this hammer or this pipe. And then then she then she uses both. No, I think Noel, all of those should be a video. Like uh, work woodworking stuff, changing the laminate floor, uh, changing the car window. Mm -hmm. uh, those should all be videos and they'd all go viral. I guarantee it. She she's she would. She she definitely would. You know what's hard? You know what I realized is hard? Yeah. Um because I'm sort of getting into that myself, like trying to figure out which next level I want to go. Yeah. When you do just the videos that we do, you don't need much. But if you're doing a video to be like filming you doing a garden, now you gotta have two, three cameras. Because you yeah. have different angles to switch it to keep the people involved. Yeah. Um, you can't just be like you over a hood. You could, but you got to have a good tripod. You got to have better. Yeah. Like instead of one, you need like three or four cameras. Exactly. I noticed, I noticed that with what we do, we can, I can literally sit here and just make a video. Hey guys, my name is Leroy. I got same pitching oh. state beads on and I got a nice knife and look at this knife. This knife is beautiful and it switches up and I can stab my finger with it and it doesn't hurt and I don't have to have another view. But yeah. when we're doing like stuff like working on cars and stuff like that, you can have a few different cameras and different tripods and stuff. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good, yeah, Noel and Jennifer. Definitely equal superwoman. Women, excuse me, I'm just not good, man. <laughs> Holly, I don't put yourself in the corner because I think that you probably are good at stuff too. We just don't yeah. know. Yeah, you're new. I mean, not saying you're new, but in a sense, you're new, and we just don't know all your skills yet. You could deal with bunnies. You know how many people couldn't deal with a bunny? <laughs> I can. You can't deal with Mo. I have to no, that, that's true. I can't. But I mean, um, that's funny because we had bunnies last. Wow, it's about a year ago now. And then we brought it to my mom's backyard, and then she said, "Okay, let them let them run around." I'm like, "No, you don't. They dig. You have dirt back. They're going under your fence. What do they do within five seconds? They dug right in, and there are two or three houses over. So we're trying to figure out what house they're in. We're knocking on doors, knocking on doors. But then my wife was like, "Yeah, you're doing you're going about this the wrong way. Why don't you entice them to come back?" But she just got some celery or something, and then they just end up coming back. But we got well, scared there for we got scared there for a second. That's what I noticed on um, a channel that I watch. Um, they just got some domesticated pigs, okay. and what they do is what they do is they just feed them, feed them, feed them. They keep feeding them, and they they, they keep coming back, and they they fed them, and then the next week they put a cage up. And they mm -hmm. then they went in the cage and then they grabbed the babies and they raising the babies up. Okay. And that's you just they just keep feeding them. They get they get used to like they get used to that. Yeah. It, it's just like the guy with the raccoons. You mm -hmm. see the, the, the the video with the guy with the raccoons. The yeah. reason why is because he feeds them every day. Mm -hmm. They keep coming they back. Once you once they have a sense, they can see that okay, if Mo keeps feeding me. Mo keeps they come back. Yeah. I keep coming back. Like he gives me the platform to be here with you guys. So I keep coming back. Sometimes I'm late, <laughs> but I come. I'm see, because I was driving with the boys and my van was here. And I'm like, all right, guys, I gotta go. And then another story would come up. You know, you got three of us in the same because yeah, yeah. they're staying at my house. So then another story will come up like guys i gotta get to the show like mo's gonna mo's gonna while out on me i did the opposite I I tell you, when i did this do you know your brother you know what leroy did i'm like oh guys all right enough stories i need to get to the warehouse nah, that's okay enjoy yourself it's only once a year uh, i hope but i'm just kidding See, well next, next, if the daughter comes down next week that is that would be no 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 Gonna it's gonna be hard because Bianca is very different. She's yeah. very quiet, and I know she could be like me. 
but I don't want to force her. Yeah. But like, you know, like when she comes down, she thinks she's gonna have a cake walk and just sit in the house and eat bonbons and be on Roblox all day. No, I want to make her work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, but like, it's just gonna be a set. I'm gonna give her a schedule. I'm gonna say, okay, between this time and this time, you come with daddy to the warehouse. I'll teach you how to sort, maybe sort stuff out. I'll pay her. You know what I mean? I'll give her 10 cents an hour. You know what I mean? 10 cents an hour? Yeah. No. <laughs> That's not the going rate. Right. <laughs> going rate right for what? 1940? <laughs> She's 12. <laughs> At least uh, 20 cents an hour. Tw- okay. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. How about I give her a blood, sweat, and salt sticker? Like every day I, I give her. I, should, I think she'd prefer the 10 cents. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Holly said she got fed in glass. It was 40 bucks, but no comps. I'd mark it at $49.99. Uh, yeah, 40 bucks is good. Who cares? If there's no comps, mark it high. I just reduce it as, as is. We have three camera right now. That new camera and two cell phones. Yep, you could. You could have. You could set them up like this and this. Yep, just tripods. You just need tripods. Yep. I made a tripod in the snow last week. You made a lot of things in the snow. Snow chains. Yeah. Well, those are the only thing I didn't use. Off? I should. One of them's rusted and bent. I'll send. I should have sent them to you. They're big and bulky, though. Uh, you can do anything you put your... Yeah, I agree. I put my last desk together while my ex watched me because he didn't know how. Well, see, there you go. My bunny is my best... My first pet ever. Yeah, I've never really had that many pets growing up. I didn't really grow up in a pet-friendly household. It's kind of uh, something that wasn't liked. I have all the videos of my channel, my landscape business. Also, really bad one of my paper bag, uh, paper bag floor, put in my son's room. What's a paper bag floor? Is that a type of uh, I don't know what that is, laminate or wood or paper bag floor? What is that, Noel? What is a paper bag for? I'm sure it's just slang for her. That's interesting, paper bag. Oh, it's a style of floor. It looks kind of... Interesting. Always get that per diem unless it's moving shit. We did like twenty five cents. Paver move move the one time. Okay. <laughs> the tooth fairy pays more. Yeah, Leroy is ten cents. Ten cents an hour. That's a uh, that's pretty good. I usually don't pay by the hour. I pay by a, a thing like ice cream or a toy or something like that. They don't really care. My kids don't really care about money yet. Yet, they care more about things. When you take brown paper bags and a mix of glue, put on the floor and cover them with wood finish. Looks like leather, really cool. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing now. I never knew that was a thing. You don't watch DIY stuff? I love watching DIY stuff. Uh, usually only if it's something I need to do, and then I figure out that I can't do it, and I find someone who can. Is that uh, what happened with the toothbrush? Toothbrush? Yeah, when you try to figure out how to brush your teeth, and you figure out you couldn't brush your teeth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How'd you guess? Oh, man, don't get me started on tooth. I've had pretty much every kind of men- dental device there is. I had headgear, braces, retainers. Uh, I had teeth pulled. Yikes. 
I cleaned the warehouse uh, yesterday because I had family come in. You couldn't? I, I said I cleaned it because I had family. Oh. Nice. You want to see how nice and neat it is? Go for it. Well, not that stuff, but all that is a lot neater. Your place is never that messy. You haven't seen messy. <laughs> Video my channels, all oh, but that. Cool. I'm gonna go check that out. And some of it depends. Some of these paperback floors I'm looking at look funny, and some of them look super cool. I guess it depends on how they. There's probably a technique to it. But some people what, know, and some people don't. What is the hardest project that anybody has done um, that they were not professional at? So like I'm not saying like build a car when you've built cars before, but something like you just like I'm not spending money on that. I'm either gonna watch YouTube. Hmm. Okay, the toughest project. <laughs> exactly. Mine get paid in Minecraft apps and Roblox apps. Um I'd say the only thing I've really ever done, I mean, I put together stuff. That doesn't really count, though. If it has instructions, like, you know, Ikea tables, yeah, I've done that. Computer tables, desks. The most complicated thing I've probably ever done, put together, is put together my own PCs. I used to do that when I was a, in high school, in early stages of college. We put together computers, PCs, but I do it with help my friends with. You buy all the different parts and... Instead of paying 500 bucks for PC, you pay like 300 for the motherboard, for the all the different parts, the case and all that. Uh, I don't know if that counts. That would probably be the most difficult thing. I went through my sunroof and the upstairs bedroom to clean my roof and chimney. My goodness, Noel. That should have been a video. You would have had to have two cameras. One shooting upwards and one already up there showing you climbing through that would have been a cool video and then obviously like the before and after so you're like uh who is mary poppins who is that guy in the um dick van dyke chimney sweep <laughs> she she came out she had a little bit of soot on her just a little bit of soot yeah yikes <laughs> Guys, I apologize if I'm a little quiet today. I have noise again. That way. No worries. So. No, I haven't. So what's the hardest thing you've ever done, Leroy? Is that um, I'm going to say, honestly, when I was a kid, a friend of mine ordered a, and you said put it together, but it, it, to me it was one of the hardest things. I had to put together a, it was a desk, but it folded up into an armoire. So when you look like looked at it, it looked like an amwa, but mm -hmm. you open it up and it was a big working desk, and it had three boxes, and they, each box was about 125 pounds. Yikes! And it took me 13 hours to put it together. Wow, that sounds like a lot. That's not easy at all. Pay the neighbor kids to put things together and they do chores when I want to do. Yeah. Get someone else to do it. Hey, Mickey. I'm the worst when it comes to building, installing things. Same here. I actually installed a new doorknob the other day. It works the way it's supposed to, and I didn't even screw It's funny you say that, Mickey. I, <clears throat> I broke the doorknob that attached to our garage, um, I want to say last summer. And then I had to reattach it. Like I went and got one. I got I had it rekeyed, so it, you know it's the same key. And then I put it on backwards. So I'm like, what's going on? Why the hell is this not fitting? It's because I put it. I don't know how. I don't know if you call it backwards or reversed, but when you put when you put it in, it wouldn't. It went on. It went the wrong way basically. So I had to take the whole thing off, and reverse it and put it back in. So I have done that once. That's not easy to do. <clears throat> I'm with you though. I'm the least handy person there is. 
I mean, I can, let me see what I what else have I changed? I changed. I did a basic thing, like I changed like a the toilet like handle thing that snapped. I replaced that. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, not much else. I tried doing uh, the shower faucet thing, the hot and cold, and I think I messed it up. It got uh, I I tightened it too hard, <clears throat> so it was too sensitive. <clears throat> so um, hmm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's IT stuff that comes over to take care of it. It's a bit of a micromanager. <laughs> my brother and I just fixed all the plumbing. My, oh, yeah, I heard about that. Is that all? Hopefully that's all doing. That's not easy. You have to go under the house, I guess, I'm guessing. You, what, is it all copper piping now? Or is it like uh, a mixture of what, PVC, copper? I, the grossest thing I ever had to do uh -oh. was it was my own house, but I had I was living in a trailer, and the, um, the pipe the pipe um, clogged up, and I had to go under the trailer, open it up, and put my hand in and grab out all the garbage, and then I had to get a snake and snake the main drain that go went into the ground. Yeah, it all in trash bags. It was, it was in your under a trailer. So, I mean, I'm a big guy. So I only had, I only had me no clearance. I'm mean, had to crawl on my hands and knees. That was like absolutely. I, I suited up and everything, but it was that was the grossest thing I ever did. Uh -huh. I fixed it, like I got it, and it worked for years after. Yikes. I've never done anything like that. The only, I mean, I've crawled under a crawl space. I have a friend that was used to, like, he used to have a home inspection business. And one time, because he has his full gear, like camera, he liked the full camera and like the full bunny suit or whatever you call it. So he said, why don't you come under with me? I'm like, uh, no. He's like, so one time I went under with him. Oh my goodness. I, I'm like, how the hell do you do this? Like he's got clearance of like, I don't know. It was, it was more than a foot, but not much more. And she's like crawling through, looking at like the underside. And it's like, oh, no, I can't. I was under there for like a minute. I'm like, right, I'm done. See ya. I'm going to break something. Make it more expensive to fix. So I usually call someone. That's exactly what I did with the shower. I broke it. Like, uh, I opened it up. And then, all right. No, I'll send me some pictures. Hold on. Where's my pictures? Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right here. She probably sent them to me. I didn't see. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah, she's got all the gear on, too. Yikes. I wish I knew how to do that stuff. Good for you. Oh, did the thing. The other thing, and, the, you know, that thing. Exactly. I can. Everything's a doohickey or a thing or what you would call it or a, you know that thing over there. I don't know how to fix stuff and I don't don't even know what it's called. Another another scary thing I did was I was in New York. Um, I was in New York. New York City. I was in Albany, Albany, New York. I think it was Albany, New York. Actually, I got to tell Emily this story, and I think I was in I'm in Albany, New York. And I had, we were working on the state capitol building. We were doing the roof. I had to go in through all these chimneys and stuff up to the peak. There's four peaks. We were working on one of the peaks. I had to climb into the peak up this ladder. I mean, it was like, it was, I don't know what kind of ladder it was. It, it's was, black, just, it was just like a, like a hanging ladder. I had to, and I'm big, I'm still about 200 pounds. I had to climb up this ladder to the peak 
and then turn little I had to I'm showing you guys up there you can't see anything <laughs> I had to turn these little latches and they were taken off the as I turned they would be able to pull off the slats they were okay. um, they were um what kind of slats were they they were um, like the roofing tiles or? Slates. yeah like the roofing slates okay so I would turn a certain bracket and then yeah. they would be able to release it and then it would be like a big hole. And I'm up there. And first of all, it was scared as daylight's getting up there. Second of all, when I looked out, I thought I could see America. Oh, my goodness. Because I was so high up there. And I just look out and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Where am I? You know what it reminds me of? I, I know you're on the inside, but you ever see those old posters of when they were building, like, the Empire State Building? And those those guys are having lunch on the end, like the, 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 the yeah, yeah. The they're working. like they're up like thousands of feet in the air, just having lunch, like it's nothing, like nothing. So back in the day, um, the iron workers they normally don't lose, they don't normally leave, leave their post back in the day when they're build, building those big buildings. They can't go to their car. Okay. So they would bring all their lunches and everything with them, and because they were iron workers and how risky their job was. They were allowed to drink one beer on their lunch break. They could okay. bring a beer in their cooler. Yeah. Yikes. It was a no contract that they could bring a beer in their cooler because, like, listen, these guys are risking their life. They want to have one beer. One beer, one. They could have one beer. I would be so scared. I I'm petrified of heights. So I would be the guy falling off there because I'd be so scared. Like, nah, not you. I wouldn't even go up there. Forget about that. Oh boy. Yeah. I saw your post about need a bag to take all your packages to the post office. Nice job. Yep. People are making some good money this week. Uh, sounds like some good metal work going on in the background. Yeah, this guy's lowballing me. Uh, let's see what he wants. I've got something up for two oh nine. It's sixty four dollar offer. You're kidding me? From Niagara Falls, New York City, uh, New York. No, not, not, not New York State, I should say. That sounded like a whip. Yeah, I heights for me. I I just have an issue with them. Like the other scariest thing, my wife. One time we went skiing, like real skiing, not just in the snow. And then um, the one and only time I've ever got off a ski lift was one of the scariest things ever because I thought about not getting off it. But I'm like, wait, you can't not get off a ski lift. You got to get off it. So I got off it. I went down. I thought it was okay for about five feet, and then I fell. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, you must be a, you're an Olympic skier, right, Leroy? No. You must have. Have you ever tried skiing? Yeah, I used to snowboard. Okay, I yeah, can see I'm, that because I figured you would. I'm clumsy though. But like my brother Chris, that you met, that you just saw the yeah yeah the one guy's mock, but the guy with the camera, that's my brother. Yeah. And, um, he, um, my brother Chris, still skateboards to this day. Nice. And he's forty six. Well, that's good for your your balance and for your core. To be yeah. honest, skateboarding. Yeah. Um, because. So I mean, do you skateboard at all? No, I wasn't. At, I did, but I wasn't good at it. The only thing I was really good at was cycling. Okay. Yeah, and um, reselling stuff and talking. And St. Patrick's Day. I'm good at it. There you go. I'm professional at St. Patrick's Day. Did you get like a bigger bag of those or it's just that's no, the only one you got? These, remember I told you I used to buy tons of beads and nice yeah, yeah. My brother kept his and these are his. And when he came, oh, nice. he brought them with him. Like this is no joke. This is a serious thing. What if somebody asks you for them? They can kiss my butt. <laughs> so you're not giving out me today then? No, no. no. These, are, these, are, these are the, the holy grail. There you go. I'll be like, this Leroy Blood speaking. Just wanted to say hi to everybody. 
and say, how do you say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody, it's me, it's me, it's me. what's going on? Are you going to be taking that on the, on the road with you today? No. You should. No. Pretend like it's on and like you're recording when you're even not. Listen, I want to behave. But you know how many women would jump in front of the camera? People want attention. Yes. You know, if I did that, it would be amazing. It, it was so funny. So listen to this, right? So we're walking out of my house. It's me, Mark, and Chris. And we're walking out. We're locking the door. And, you know, people walk by. And my, my buddy Mark goes, what time do you think these girls are going to wake up? Because we got a shoot to do. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was dying. Because we're sitting outside the apartment with a camera. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, Mark, stop. Please stop. <laughs> uh, skateboard scared me. When I was a kid, I ran over my finger while... How do you run over your finger? You you bent down just apparently you can you shouldn't sit on the oh jeez. Ouch. See, what if I run over myself? Well, I didn't run over. I somebody ran over my foot with a car. It was just the side of my shoe though. It wasn't like the whole foot. I had somebody throw a dot at me when I was a kid and it hit me in my ear. Ow. Yeah. I've stepped on a nail, I've stepped on multiple tacks. Uh, my cousin used to think it was fun to leave tacks everywhere. That's not cool. They hurt just as much as a nail, just so you know. Um, oh, wow. That's pretty. Uh, that's cool. You see the Wells Pirate Fire Pit? Mm hmm. That's cool. My grandson underneath the house with me. Wow, your grandson is brave. I'm going to put a jacket on, and I'm going to... I was about to say, aren't you cold? Yeah. And I'm going to do some shipping, so I'll be... I'm going to be with you. I'm going to move some stuff around, okay, guys? Go for it. Very cool, Noel. Looking at your pictures right now. Got my torch going on today. The fire pit area is open for business. That's cool. Very cool. Debating an offer for somebody. I had somebody buy something and not pay for it. It was 200 bucks, and now I got another offer, but it's only 65 bucks. Ugh. I only have, let me see here. No, that's way too low. Way, way too low. Let's make a counter. I'll meet you in the middle. Haven't you had use of these outlets in the garage for years? Got them all changed out and ready for action. Nice. Very cool.
you guys should be checking out Noelle's Instagram page. She's got a bunch of stuff she's updated. Fire pit, outlets, plumbing. Nice. I'm surprised the buyer pays five minutes after eBay opens the case. Yep. I wish it was the case like that for me. I open cases, I want to say, after 48 hours for pretty much everything um, automatically because I'm, I'm sick of people saying, I'll pay you this, I'll pay you on Friday, I'll pay you when I get them. Like, I don't care. I just tell them the same thing. Um, you know, it's preferable if you pay as soon as possible because we auto we automatically will be sending you emails um, if we don't receive payment <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys can see this that's Noel coming through the top of her chimney right there I'd be so scared if that was me, even though you're kind of on the inside, but yikes. Pruning carnage, wow. Very cool. <laughs> Does anybody here not use eBay? did for a while but it frustrated me i just use macari and facebook marketplace but might try ebay again so mostly secondhand sports apparel anyone thriving without it? oh anyone's thriving without ebay uh, a lot of people actually i know a lot of people that don't touch ebay because they don't want they don't like the fees or they don't like ebay compared to what i've heard i don't sell much of macari or uh, Facebook Marketplace for me is usually just local stuff, but everyone's happy with now you can ship on Facebook Marketplace. The fees are a lot lower on both Macari and Facebook Marketplace, and I've heard that Macari is a little bit better with their returns, like it's harder to return stuff. I don't know if that's true or not, but eBay, yeah, you get more traffic, but you get more hassle too, more fees, but I don't know. I'm on all three, but I'm majority eBay. I should cross post more stuff. Because it's just, I don't know, it's just safer to have more. I do more eBay first and Amazon after that. Stop with the four letter words. <laughs> uh, What can I say? I have a potty mouth. I have these offers that are stuck. Somebody, like I'm sending out offers and I got um, this one person I tried to send an offer to and then it said their account no longer exists or it's a incorrect and that's stuck there. I can't get rid of it too. Which is quite annoying. I can't send them an offer and I can't delete it. Can I edit this and get rid of it? It's been there for two days now. What can I do? Uh, I know Tommy's coming back with the big guns now on every show. How are you going to top this one now? Macari fees are about equal to eBay. Okay. I use Marketplace for shipping, and that's gone pretty well. I like the large audience of eBay. It's just so much more of a hassle than the others. The main difference is that – uh, hey, good morning, Jen. I think the main difference is that 
eBay has that traffic. Um, so, I mean, they, you know, it's no contest between them, Macari. Facebook has more, I mean, they have more users. I don't know if they have more selling traffic. Um, and I haven't really done much other than local stuff. Um, but I need to. And Macari have only done a handful of sales. Same with Poshmark. Poshmark I just don't like because I don't like sharing closets. It just feels like a time suck. But eBay, I've noticed that eBay, especially the last month, is starting. Are you noticing all the ads you're getting on your phone? Like they're trying to sell us as sellers. Once you learn somewhat master eBay, the rest are. Yeah, eBay just, I need to supplement other with other platforms. I'm not going to leave eBay. I'm just going to add other things to it, other platforms. Show didn't feel as long as it was. Yep. Yeah. Well, you're talking about Pete here, so um, it's a lot to talk about. You could probably could have had a six hour show. So who's next, Tommy? Who's next? Uh, you need a, it's going to be hard to top this one. It's funny. Leroy says he doesn't get along with the people back there. It sounds like he's having a, he's chopping up, having a good old time. And I've never heard of someone starting St. Patrick's Day at like nine in the morning. Dude is what? Yeah. And it's funny because, like I said, like maybe like two, three weeks ago, I, I was listening to your the other show you did, but that was with Ronnie and Pete at the same time. And that one is super cool too because they talk about all kinds of stuff there. Yeah, it's like the other eBay sound between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. I know eBay is trying to sell me on something. Yeah, constantly. Used to start 7 a.m., but that age, no way. I used to start saying picture day at midnight. <laughs> Are you talking about the, I hope you're not saying the day before. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. I mean, usually before, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't be till like maybe seven, eight in the evening, something like that. It lasts till seven, eight in the morning, though, but I would never start so early. I'd be wiped out. Tommy needs to get Chad and Kim. Oh, Golden Finger Picker. He had, if I'm not mistaken, a while back he interviewed uh, Chad. 24 hour drinking marathon. Ah. Uh, I, I would have passed out probably by 10 a.m. at that point. I loved when he was talking about other reseller YouTube channels, especially. Okay, that's so funny. Yeah. Well, she's just taking, she's shooting to the moon right now. Kayla's channel is just, wow. It's not even that old. Best is in March Madness fell on St. Hey, Patrick's Day, yeah. That's true. That would be crazy, depending on, depending on the teams in there, too. Probably is on the West Coast. We didn't really, I mean, let me see. Who would we have in there? I mean, UCLA a little bit here and there. USC never did anything. Stafford never did anything. Berkeley never did anything. No, our team is mainly Midwest, East Coast teams. Could you do that now? No. 24 hours. Forget about one hour. I can last one hour. Can't forget the 8 a.m. starts at 2 Saturdays before St. Patty's for all the Shamrock shuttles. <laughs> uh, Tim said he would do a 24-hour marathon on St. Patty's Day. 
he'd do a 24 hour marathon on uh, St. Patrick's Day and before. He started at midnight. Okay, let's start now. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll start. I'll go with you. The boys, are, the, boy, the boys are coming back in an hour. I gotta be prime. What's a shamrock shuttle? Is that like a like a like a minibus? I think so. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I had to do a couple of things. We're talking about Tommy's show yesterday, and then how long people would be able to hang on, like the longest their St. Patrick's Day would be. I think Tim won because he said his would be 24 hours. I've done 24 hours St. Patrick's Day. I I never start earlier than like 7 or 8 in the evening. It's a glorified day to get drunk. Most people don't even know the true history. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. But yeah, that was, uh, I did partake though, so. It's fascinating how he keeps tabs. Yep, even Canada. Yep. It's 10 years, so no, I can't do it. Yeah. Kegs and eggs. Kegs and eggs. Interesting. They're all day bar crawls before St. Patty's. Okay, gotcha. About Kevin Cupid's. <laughs> oh, Lord, for a day to get drunk. Yep. Pretty much. See, I can see Lou is mixing up there. He's going half water. What is that? Oh, you mean you 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 have it? You poured it in your or your Yeti mug right there? Yeah, I don't want to demonetize it. It's always in that mug. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, flipping accountant. Congratulations, crew. I mean, it's been a while now. You cracked 2,000. Good job, man. Congratulations. We're going to hit 2,000, 2021. Three. Nah, 28. <laughs> 28. <laughs> when Bianca comes, we'll have to start our YouTube channel. And then Shit. vlog about spending a weekend with her dad. Yeah, well, don't do that. She'll know. Okay, okay. you say that, and then she'll be like, all right, I'm not doing this. You need to find out something she's interested in doing. Um, like, like, we can stand behind, sit behind us and, and pick on our show all day. That's easy to do. St. Like Patty's Day all. Yep. Tell Cameron he will be getting a video today. Cameron's going to get some videos. Congrats on 10 years in presses of one. Been sober for 10. 10 hours. <laughs> uh, no, that, that is impressive, Tim. Take your GoPro around. It's really awesome having Pete on. He's such a cool guy with real passion for his own success. What is that? I don't even know what I'm looking at. See if anybody knows what that is. I mean, I know, of course, I know what that is, but I just don't want to say, ruin it for everybody. Do you really know what it is? No. Okay. Such a cool move. If somebody says it's a good one, no. I love McDonald's shamrock shake. Is that out again? I think it's a mint shake, right? You ever get the McDonald's shamrock shake? No, disgusting. <laughs> I don't you like got a milk. problem with milkshakes? I got a problem with green milkshakes. It's just probably like food coloring. It is, but I just, it, it's just what's, like. What's the I difference to that in green beer? I don't just really, have the same food coloring. I don't really drink green beer. Okay. I drink there's no, beer. I there's like no difference in taste. I like my beer. I like I like my music. Like I like my women. Do you don't like green women? No, brown. <laughs> she Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> if I ever find a woman that's green, it better be Shrek. Miss Shrek. Yeah. What's Miss Shrek's name? Le Leona? Um, I have no idea. I think Cameron Diaz is the voice for her, though. Shopping addictions, guys. Exactly. I think we all have a shopping addiction, though. A shopping addiction? Shopping, shopping not shopping oh, I addiction. I definitely do. Yeah. Slash hoarding addiction. That's much crime. Kevin needs <laughs> Uh, All right, I gotta get some shipping done before the boys come. Do it. I have nothing. I have no shipping to do in here. So McDonald's is a shamrock shake now. Not really dairy product. I, you know, where I learned that. I learned that at um, there's a movie they had. Um, was it the the founder? He said they use powder, blah, blah, blah. It's like a powder mixture with water. And that's how they make the shake. It's like, uh, I don't know what it is. Astronaut shake, basically. It's all powder. Arby's Andy's mint shake is better. Really? Now I need to go check that out. Arby's, we've got the meats. There was an Arby's across the street from my high school, and they'd have dollar. Um, remember those? Do you ever get those roast beef things? I don't know if Leroy can hear me. Okay. You ever? You never got those? No. Cheddar not, and uh, not, roast beef. I'm not a big fan of Arby's. I think I like. They have more meat in their stuff than like regular places. That's what they say. Oh, they do. That's what they do. Actually, it's more. It's like six bucks for a burger, though. Depends. Yeah, it's not really good for you, though. It's like greasy and uh, they cover it in like cheddar cheese. Ugh. That's a good way to uh, force yourself to go to the bathroom. Leroy, I bought a vintage Snap on tool for a dollar this weekend. We'll send mm -hmm. a picture later. Noel okay. did. Thank you, Noel. Just Snap on. That's like that's like a generic tool, right? Snap-on's like cheap stuff. Snap-on's a Cadillac, yeah. Oh, there you go. Hey, Eric, how's it going, man? A Cadillac is for a poor man, but it's it's still a good tool. <laughs> Why did it I mean they always say the Cadillac of like Cadillac is like the primo? But, but it's not. That's what I'm saying. Like, wouldn't like Rolls Royce or? That's why I always um, thought. Like, well, I always hear like, oh, this is the Cadillac of tools. This that's why I just re that's why I just rephrased. Yeah. No, but I mean, no, I mean, it's people do use that though. It's funny. I was, I don't know. I think that's an East Coast thing. People like saying like, oh, the Cadillac. Just buy real mint ice cream, add milk, and stir. How hard is that? It's very hard for me. That would involve me going and buying those ingredients and actually stirring. It's much easier to go through a drive through RV shakes are really good. I will co-sign. <laughs> all right. I think I'll, I'm going to get an RV shake when I'm driving today. I need to find an Arby's though. There's not many of them around here. Where's the closest Arby's? Arby's. Arby's near me. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's there's quite a few. They got the best cold cut sandwiches. I don't know who else does have cold cut sandwiches. That's a fast food place. Yeah, is he saying something? I can't hear him. Beef and cheddar. Yeah, they used to have that thing. It was five bucks and get four of them or something like that. Or four. I think it was five for five or four for five. Yikes. That's something to make you sit down and go to sleep. Still haven't gone to Arby's since they stopped selling burgers back in the 90s. Wait, so. It, oh, that's right. They don't actually have burgers. It's all cold cuts. What's going on, Ty? Oh, you're a robot now. <laughs> He's frozen. Uh, that's a funny expression. There you go. Moving now. 
used to Cadillac was premier car back in the day before import tents of saying gotcha. I mean, I'd be happy with a Cadillac. What was that Cadillac that, uh, what's the SUV the Cadillac makes? Escalade. Escalade, yep, yep, yep. I, I, for years I wanted an Escalade. It just looked cool. Big old thing. Looks like you can drive through a wall. Doesn't Subway have a cold cut? Yeah, they have lots of, lots of cold cuts. I think so. Cold cut combo. I think it's cold cut combo. Yeah, same thing though. I only want to eat there. I'd be interested to know what, if any, fast food Tommy eats. I'm guessing next to none. Because I know he doesn't like uh, Golden Corral. And I know he doesn't like fast food. I'm guessing, at least. What's everybody's favorite fast food? Even if it's not uh, St. Patrick's Day related. What's your favorite fast food? Uh, if you could only pick one thing, one, one meal thing on the menu or one thing in general, doesn't matter. For, does, well, I wonder the restaurant first and then what you pick there. Uh, I'm gonna say my my all time fast food thing, yes, it, it doesn't mean that that's my favorite place, okay. Um, the onion rings from Burger King, okay, that's fair because yeah. it's not. That's not the first thing I would have thought of. Okay, what about a sandwich or a burger of some kind? Oh, he loves fast food. I'm I'm surprised. I figured he would hate fast food. I don't know. Okay, two. If you can't think of one, just like if you okay. What's the last thing you ordered? Come back to me. Come back to me. Okay. Okay. Get a Cadillac truck. Now that's styling. Give me a four door Dodge, and I'm happy. I drive a Dodge right now, Dodge minivan. Okay. Chrysler Pacifica. Put the seats all the way down on the floor. Tommy been watching, Tommy watching, re-watching show from last night. Yep, I've got mine slated to watch. Listen, I'm gonna be listening to it on my drive back down. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is new for this area, I want to say it's been around six, seven years, something like that. They started open up everywhere. Cookout cheddar style burger. Cookout cheddar style burger. What is a cookout cheddar? That? Esca yeah, I always wanted an Escalade. Thanks, Eric. It's got better and better. It went on, stop. Yep. I don't think there's a time when Pete doesn't drop something that we've never heard of. Some I'm, new I'm information. Gonna, I'm, what? I'm going to say, I heard somebody say, I'm going to say, if I had to, it would be Chick fil A. Chick fil A? Well, we just. You like got that? Chick -fil -A. You like that? Same here. We're, like I think Chick fil A was what? They're out of Texas, I think. Um, sure. Northern. Yeah, they only came out here in the last five to 10 years, five to eight years, something like that. I'd be disappointed if Mo didn't have his van low right now. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, one of these days. Chick-fil-A is the Lord's chicken. That's what I've heard. And that and In-N-Out Burger, too. Uh, but they don't have chicken there, so. And Pete is a wolf. Yep, definitely. That's bourbon, really? Which, what, the Chick-fil-A sandwich? No way. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Bourbon chicken sandwich? Chick-fil-A is so overrated to me. I see the line a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm if I see a line at a fast food place, I'm not bothering. The one that they go gaga for over here is the Popeye's chicken sandwich, which I still haven't had. But supposedly, they just call it the sandwich on their poster. The Godfather watches over our community. That's right. 
Wendy's burgers. Ah, you like the square cut meat thing that they do. Most man, low riding with snowshoes. <laughs> yeah, going eight miles an hour, scraping the freeway up. Uh, Lord wants us to have fat ass. <laughs> I think so. That's why we have so many fast food places. Janice is broken loose. Low cinema for sure. Yeah. Chick fil A was the last food I've eaten. Pretty. Oh, last fast. I mean, it's, oh, fast food. Been like two years. It's probably a good thing. Fast food is, uh, yeah, something I do partake in, though. Lord's chicken. What about Church's chicken? There's actually a place. I bet there is a place called Lord's chicken. Uh, that's why I would not want to eat there ever. I can find the devil's chicken. <laughs> oh, no. I was. Oop. I was talking about Pete with the bourbon. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm sure it was good bourbon, too. I don't know about that chicken. Uh, I have to make a decision to butcher one of those roosters. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Noelle just sent me a picture of chicken that she really... Wait, is this chicken? Or, yeah, that she just uh, raised herself and is now in the oven. I always go for Wendy's Baconator, including the breakfast version. I didn't even know there was a breakfast version. I'm not that up that early, so I don't think I've ever got there at breakfast time. Appreciate it, Jen. Thank you so much. 20, wow, not 25 people here, wow. Back to Sacramento. I'm up north now, right now. You got nothing better, dude. Yeah, pretty much. It's what a basket, though. They want, to see, they want to see me. They want to see you what? Like Steelers hat, Steelers hoodie. There's no green in that steel Steelers jersey, man, or that logo. No, I know that. I'm saying on your the logo there, with well, black and gold, right, with a little bit of red. St. Patty's Day, and you're wearing orange and blue. I know. I don't have any green here. I'm not at home, so I have no green. I know I'm gonna get pinched. My daughter's gonna like come up here. And, oh, uh oh. I'm on camera again. <laughs> what's going on what's going on what's going on guys it's your boy tay and today it's leroy <laughs> uh so did you ever figure out what your favorite no he's gone again <laughs> he's gone. i said chick-fil-a oh but which sandwich though just the regular chicken sandwich chicken sandwich is good yeah okay was, my favorite is the I really do like the McDonald's. I mean the Burger King uh onion rings. Those rings. Are I know this is part of the Irish flag, right? Orange. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any green. I'm gonna get a pinch later. My keyboard is green. You can't see it though. Uh, my shrink wrap is green. There you go. You can shrink wrap your wrist or something like that if you didn't have a shirt on. Yeah, whatever you say, Mo. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, no. Lee already said he doesn't have coffee in that coffee cup. No, there's coffee in that coffee cup. Oh, there is? Oh, yeah. With some other stuff? No, not brandy. Oh. Why, why did you think brandy? Who puts coffee brandy in coffee? Co yeah. My name. You do? I told you my nana used to do that. You would like, uh, well, well, you sh you're not making it Irish then? There you go, Noel. You, your eyes are green. So you're always set. You don't need a shirt. Exactly, Mickey. I guess he doesn't have Irish coffee right now. I'm just a good guy when I'm sleeping. And Tommy and Tracy, you guys, I, don't, I haven't seen Tracy. 
I did watch a show I was lurking. You guys did an excellent job last night. That's what everyone's saying in the chat, too. I'm going to be listening to it when I'm driving. I usually listen to re-listen to their shows anyway because they're so long. It's awesome you driving. You say that you don't want – you're afraid that Tommy's going to kick your butt one day? Yeah, it's going to happen anyway. It's okay. Now, nah. who, who are you more afraid of? Are you afraid of Tommy or Noel? I'd say Noel. I'd rather say neither. I'd, I'd say Noel. <laughs> She's literally seen like six pictures of her and she could like, who knows what, like you said with, if she ever got a metal pole or something, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Noel. <laughs> no offense, Tommy. He's not, he's still afraid of you, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. I'm afraid of everybody. So don't worry about that. That's not saying much, but yeah. Brandy in the morning. Yeah, I know. Seriously. I love that baby. <laughs> Bailey's gonna get out a bit of a sweet tooth. I don't like any of that stuff. Too sweet for you? Yeah. I just I just like beer. That's it. Hey, see, Tommy brought up one of your questions, Lee, right? What did you say? I don't know. I don't know which question. But he I brought, brought up one of your questions one of yesterday, I think. Oh, and I and he did he did ask him that, and I had to pull away because, like I said, I have family in town, so I yeah. will go back and look at that, Tommy. Um. I apologize. I know you're not a violent person, though. Leroy's just messing around. Oh, no, I don't think I, but I wouldn't mess with us. <laughs> yeah. But that chicken looks good. She's roasting, a, I don't know if it's roasting or baking, or she's got a chicken in the oven. It looks good to me, though. What are we packing there? Uh, a charger. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to get anything listed today, but because the boys will be back at 12:30, so I said I might as well get my shipping done, um, and then I'll just put a bunch of things. I'll do a St. Patrick's Day sale maybe today. No, well, you didn't ask where Leroy's five percent is, did you? Oh yeah, where's your five percent, Leroy? You need five percent. No, Jen, where's your five percent? Not, not today. Today, today, St. Patrick said nobody gets charged today. Nobody gets charged. No, probably no jujitsu. No. Even if she did, she wouldn't use it. She's a pacifist, possibly. I don't know. I have to be ready today because my but my best friend's sleeping on the couch and my brother's sleeping in the guest bedroom. So if I mess up, there's only one place for me, and that's on the floor. There you go. <laughs> you ever tried the bathtub? No, I never slip in the bathtub. I tried that one time. That messes up your neck, though. You gotta be careful if you fall asleep like that. Also, I didn't ask if he sold any tools because he had a whole year of tool content like two years ago where he bought a whole tractor trailer. Yeah, I saw yeah. that in the chat, Tommy. I did see that in the chat, and that's why I that's why I asked the second question because yeah. I was like. Well, he's probably not going to answer that. And I know your chat was going super quick. I wasn't trying to be a pest. Yeah, I'm sure he has a lot of knowledge on tools. He sells a lot of uh, um, like lawnmowers and stuff, too. I know he does. I see it on his videos. Yeah. Mo, do you have one of those, um, those cotton boards? Um... Uh, like a slicer or like a just like a for cutting what though? You know what I mean? Like you know, like the ones that have the measuring tapes, the measuring on them, and you like you use them for like seamstress and stuff. And it's supposed to be like self. Um, I like used to when I had the shipping store, I used to have a bunch of those like different sizes for those. The pads, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not now one. though. I don't think I have one. I like it. Okay. Mine is um, mine is. 24 inches, 22 inches by 34 inches. Okay. Now those come in handy. See, nope, just raised on a farm and I have three brothers. Nobody picked on me. I can say that. There you go. No 
little scroll bar at the bottom here. Tomorrow we're gonna go to a moonshine distillery. Oh boy, that stuff tastes gross though. I won't drink it. You ever try that? No. no. I took a step once, knock you on your butt, and it tastes ugh. It's like rubbing alcohol. Chris, Chris wants to go because um, he's down here, so. Okay. Whatever Chris wants, Chris gets. There you go. Well, you're the host, so. He kind of a check already. That's why he has the list. There you go. Good morning, Chuck. How are you, man? Something sold. I kind of wanted to keep. I got about three X comps, so shouldn't complain. Nice. Good for you. Moonshine will make you forget where your pants uh, make you forget everything. <laughs> I'd, I'd be crawled on the ground in the fetal position. I'd be, sl I'd be sleeping. That stuff is just gross. I I'm not a big fan of that stuff. It's just disgusting. Isn't it like almost pure alcohol and everything? Pretty much. I don't know what the proof is. Like 80, 90. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's the most, I mean, a lot of it is not like, I don't I mean, it's not sold at stores or anything. Yeah. It's all homemade stuff. The last auction I was at had um, a couple bottles of it. Ugh. I wouldn't touch it, especially if it was, yeah. I don't know who made it. I Don't forgot to write my number down, man. What happened? I forgot to write the number and I wrapped it already. Uh oh. I know which one it was. Do that on eBay and my booth, they wow. still sell on it. Okay. I always start with no fans. No, no, no. Uh, uh, it's funny how they call it moonshine. What uh, I mean, it should be called something else, like really the sleep. I mean, maybe because moon comes out at night and that's when you're sleeping. Chuck before was nasty. When is it not? I mean, it's just so strong. I mean, I don't, it's just, I don't know. It has to be a little bit of taste there. Like, I think the closest to that I would ever have is like 151. That stuff is like glider fluid. Tommy, do you have any ideas who your next big guest is going to be? Or you, I mean, you probably, he probably is not going to say until it comes out. So. No, it's a, it's a musical group called Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Oh, I know them. Yeah. Because it was illegal. It was made at night. And, ah, it's probably, I'm guessing around Prohibition. What, oh, man, drop water on my laptop. Probably the 30s, I'm guessing, 20s, 30s. Made at night, okay. It's because it was made under the shine of the moon. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who didn't know that, though. but I appreciate the knowledge. Now I know. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Moonshine. Um, call content percentage. There you go. Look at the self-promotion going on here. Seriously. Every guest is a big name, Leroy. Check All are equal. Check guys on my video, Blood, Sweat, and Soul. I'll be doing a video next Wednesday. Did he freeze or he's just playing around? I think he froze. <laughs> he froze. <laughs> Uh, you know you froze, so we couldn't hear the second half of that. 
Nope, oh, he's gone. So technically moonshine. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, hey, maybe you know what? You should. Maybe that can be sent to every person. It's so small and light that can fit into every package. Hey, Leroy, you need to name that thing now. It doesn't have a name. I call the moon. Lemon. Mummy. My, mummy is too obvious, though. The mummy. Yeah, mummy can go. We can send mummy back and forth. That's mummy, right. mummy can be sent because it's not really breakable. It's very light, small. That can no, be a thing. Like. Not mummy. Moly. 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 Like Mo and Leroy. Holy moly. No, like Mo and Leroy. Moly. Oh, okay. That's Moly. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Moly, and I love YouTube. Do you guys like YouTube? YouTube oh, is my so goodness. much fun. All what right, do you well, guys do for St. Patrick's Day? All right, we've officially become annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, still illegal in a lot of states. Some cool document. Yeah, I need to check. Because I'm reading this now. 95% technically moonshine can be distilled to about 95% alcohol. Yikes. That is 190 proof. 190. Yep, Leroy. Le yes, he is wound up. Look, guys. I have a necklace like Leroy. Oh, goodness. I have a necklace like we were. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Yay! <laughs> yeah, are you sure there's not moonshine but moonshine in that cup? No moonshine. Uh, we were been into the moonshine. Yep, I think so. No, uh-uh. No, I wouldn't drink moonshine. Uh. I don't drink. I. Okay, I now you're just lying. I don't, I don't drink. I don't. As soon as you say you don't drink, that's a problem. 90% <laughs> brandy, 10% coffee, and more like 99% brandy, 1% coffee. No There's no brandy. There's no brandy. Or it's 100% Guinness. 110. There you go. Mo, you ever use this stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's it's tough. It's relatively tough. Um, and it gets between like like small. It's pretty thin too. So yeah, I I I didn't run out of bubble wrap, but I have so much of that. That I just cut it up into um, one foot by one foot squares. Hey, Russ, how's it going, man? Hey, Russ, how you doing, man? Talking about moonshine. Talking about Russ. That I'm using it instead of my bubble wrap because I have so much of it. You seriously overpack stuff, which is not a bad thing, but. How is that overpacking? Is that all the packing? Wait, what were you packing again? <laughs> a pile of metal. You're packing metal and foam wrap and then shrink wrap and then. Well, and then you're going to bump. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. I'm so used to it. It's just. It will kill my ability to drink. Oh, my goodness. Sorry to hear that. Well, it's not, not the worst thing in the world not to. Hey, Joe, how's it going, man? Yeah, it does. Seriously suck. Yeah, I can't complain, Russ. Can't complain. I've been watching your, your pictures of the homestead. It's looking good out there. What's the temperature out there today? He built, literally built from the ground up his new place. 
Nope, it's frozen again. I'm not frozen. I'm drinking. Are you not? No, I'm read I was reading the Wells comment. Okay. Sometimes I can't tell if you're frozen up because you don't move. You don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever play that game as a kid? Like staring contest? I could never do that because I can't shut up. Oh. I think you'd be good at it. You shut up. <laughs> Let's see. Uh was that rap looked like was about to play some Edward Forty Yeah. <laughs> 60s. Wow. I thought I saw snow in your backyard there. Maybe not now. Maybe that's an older picture. See, around here, it's in the 40s, I'm guessing. 40s, 50s. Yeah, it's probably in the 40s here. Yeah. It's not supposed to be too warm today. And I hate wearing a jacket because you're jumping around from place to place. Yeah. Or if you're going to be out late, it's going to get cold, though, right? I'm guessing. I'm not staying out late. We're going out at 3 o'clock. I'll be home by 9. I'm not I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. Okay. That's true. Because then you can, they're like, there's still food places, too, then. Because yeah. by about like 9, 10 o'clock, there's nothing to eat. No, no. It, it, those days are over. We go. I go out. My buddies come down. We yeah. go. We go to a couple, you know, Irish places and stuff, and just play around, and then we go home. Like you yeah. know, what I, mean? I, I gotta go yeah, home yeah. And, and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Every, anything after like ten, eleven o'clock, I'm dozing You're off. Asking anyway. for trouble. You're asking for trouble. Yes. When they say nothing good happens after midnight. No, too old for that. And then he's then. Then you're just left with like eating it like a Denny's or like uh, I don't know a cart. Sometimes they have like the hot dog stands. That's about it. You have a downtown, like a big downtown area down there, or they call it big, a little bit bigger uh, than the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Cold or in Orlando too. Only supposed to get to eighty nine degrees only. Cool. All right, I'm going to show you the shipping process. See what Go for it. This is what we're shipping out. It's a pair of specialty plies made by SD. I mean KD. It's a. It weighs about seven ounces. Now this I is how, a dental device. This is how I'm going to ship it. Okay. Okay. Let's see continue. this. You can continue. Master shipping process. It's St. Patrick's Day. You're not selling insurance today. Leave me alone. I'd like a warranty. Oh, do you hang up? I was going to ask him if you can give me a car warranty. No? Okay. Okay. That should be our theme music. I hear it so much. I'm telling you. Sponsored I by. To switch my number. So that's it. And it goes in a poly bag. Nice. You must go through a lot of shrink wrap. I do. Shrink wrap and, but like this stuff I get for free. Gotcha. So I use it. You know what I mean? We have so much Amazon stuff that I use that too. I get so many boxes. So then I've heard people say that Amazon, was it eBay? Somebody's cracking down on you can't use an Amazon box for um, eBay and vice versa. Yeah, that's when I just get this and I just put this over it. Yeah. That's all I got left. I gotta get it over the wall. Ah, what's going on there? How much does it cost to ship that, Leroy? To ship this? Yeah, but I guess what you're holding right now. I don't know. Yeah, I, that's the next step. It 
Probably about four bucks. Okay. Is that under a pound? Yeah, it's only um it it's only probably about seven ounces. I reuse my Amazon boxes if they're still I do as well. I mean it's I seven, won't if it's something three, heavier. Okay. Eight ounces. Eight ounces, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, Amazon boxes are good, especially for those long, weird shapes, but um, not for anything that's too heavy because they're generally thinner. Um, I I sh I priced them out at five forty six for shipping. Yeah. Okay. That's what I priced them out at. Okay. What when I do my my um. Flatted pat, fl uh, padded flat rate bubble. Um, I charge eight dollars and forty six cents. Okay. So eight dollars. See, mine is I believe the rate that I have through eBay is seven, just under, just under eight bucks. I think. I reuse all. Yeah, I reuse everything. Look, it was in the manual for the, the shipping franchise I used to have. They would tell us to literally collect old boxes and reuse them. Yeah. So, and this is like, a you know, they have well, these things all over the country. Because I had the connection with um, Ashley, um, I just get, he just gives me bags and bags of it. I, I refuse it half the time. Ashley, like the furniture store, Ashley? Yeah. Okay. And I refuse it sometimes. And, I'll just take it like I'll come like on a Sunday and I'll, I'll, I'll cut for the week. So I'll fill up that bin for the week. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's usually between 16 inches and 12 inches. And yeah. it's real quick. I'll do it, rip it down. I can rip it down. I don't have to cut it. And I just cut six, boom, boom. And I put it in a bin. And then. I'd say, yeah, why not? I mean, I mean, there's, I don't think I there's anything. I'm recycling. I'm recycling. Exactly. And people are like, oh, well, you know, I don't have time to be cutting up plastic. Well, if you're going to order it, you got to bring it from there to your warehouse. The money that you're spending, it it takes me two minutes. Like it's, And I'm recycling it. That's the biggest thing. You know, yep. all that stuff, that bubble wrap and all those, you know, normally if you take that foam and you don't break it up, that foam never dissipates. No. Nope. It really never does. does but me cutting it with a 12-inch piece, that gives it a better chance of breaking down a little bit more. That's just how I look at it. If that go, if that gets stuck in somebody's drain or something, like I don't know, maybe I'm just going too far with it. But no, a lot of companies don't refuse it. Amazon doesn't allow packing peanuts anymore in any. They they don't use it. They don't allow it in their warehouses. So yeah. that's another thing. So if you get packing peanuts, a lot of companies are refusing it. Um, I mean, you can use it and send it. Um, I reuse a lot of stuff. I mean, why not? As long as it doesn't have holes, as long as it doesn't have like, uh, sometimes you gotta be careful if it has like, uh, like before they ship something like that was maybe toxic in there, you gotta cover up those labels and cover up old labels, that kind of yeah. stuff. But, um, you know, it's common sense stuff. Just, you know, if it's got a hole in it, make sure, you know, you don't use it. That's it, simple as that. Just had a pickup truck, load of bubble wrap. Nice, loaded to me. My friends, the high end, especially sports racing parts business. Nice. Bubble wrap. Yeah, I used to have that all the time. Like I, I always tell people if you have a warehouse address or if you have any um, address where you can receive stuff um, that you don't mind giving out the address, you can sign up to be a recycle center, and depending on your county or city or whatever. And you get free boxes, you get free bubble wrap, styrofoam. You know, packing peanuts. I used to do that all the time. And then around Christmas, around anyone, uh, any holiday, people would bring it after weddings, and we get all kinds of boxes and peanuts and bubble wrap and all of that stuff. Why not reuse it if you can? I mean, obviously, if you're sending like a super expensive item, you might want to use a slightly nicer looking box. Um, and yeah, and if it's got holes in it, you don't have to use it. Just, you know, cut it up, recycle it. 
but there's nothing wrong with recycling stuff. I do it all. I've done it forever. Screw that. I want all those people come. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do it because this is, it was a separate place. I'm a something young gang. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give out. Now I don't do it because I don't want to give out my address to everybody. But before, what happened? I have your address. You do? How'd you get that? Uh oh. Number two? Three. Seven. It's personal. That's a personal question on your business. You want to talk personal? Go on Instagram. Really? People talking about. Inst what do you think is more personal? YouTube or you think Instagram is more personal? When you do private messages, sure. Oh, that's true. I can ask you how fat is your belly on Instagram. I can't ask you that over here. That's so mean. Yeah. Pretty fat. Liquid Courage, Leroy's address, 12345 Leroy Street, Leroy, California, or Leroy, I'm, South Carolina. No, it's 17896, oh, Leroy there Drive. There we go, Leroy Drive. Really far North Carolina, away from home, Rhode Island, 028649. There you go. Goodness, you always mix it up. I wonder how the boys are doing. I'm like that pest. Like, I'll keep messaging you, especially if you have my daughter. Like, they don't have my daughter. But if you had yeah. my daughter, I'm like, how's my daughter doing? Is she okay? Is she good? How is she? How's my daughter? Is she okay? Is she all right? My sister-in-law goes, listen, I'm her godmother. Leave me alone. <laughs> Go do something. <laughs> And my brother Chris is her godfather as well. I miss Whitney. Well, I'm I'm guessing you're in a lot better shape for not having it, Anthony. Yeah. I have your addresses. Signed you both up for to be recycling. That was nice. One one eight seven Blood Street. There you go. Eight six six seven five three zero nine. Okay. Leroy yeah. Street. So nobody knew what this was. I didn't see it in the chat. That's um, I don't know. A I, uh, I don't know. One of those Russian dolls. It keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. No, I know somebody has to know what it is. The first person who guesses what it is, Mo is going to send you absolutely nothing. That's right. Hey, that's Jenny's number. I thought I was the only one who had that number. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Did she mess it up? I think she, she did. just typed she it in the beginning. She did. No well. No well. You can't mess it up. Well, no one's no one that's under. Like know, that's like not knowing. If somebody said to you, "What is the main character's name from Progressive?" You should know who that is. What is the name? The main character's name from State Farm. You should know what that is. Oh, I know that's Jake. Who is the main character from Casper the Friendly Ghost? You should know who that is. If somebody asks you who the main character of Disney is, you should know who that is. Those are just so many questions. That's, I thought I was the only I'm, I'm hot dog inside of a hot dog. <laughs> I can't believe you guys don't know what this is. It's a, um, uh, one of those doohickeys. Those theme of jigs, whatchamacallit. You want to know? Yeah. What is it? It's honestly a snake bite kit. So if there's a snake, he bites this, He, it, he the venom goes inside. And then this is for a big snake. This is for a bigger snake. And this oh, is. Oh, yeah, somebody did get it. A small. Who said it? Jason. It looks like a snake bite. Yes. Yes. Extractor. Yes. And then it has a little. I believe it's a little noose to wrap around the snake's neck with a little instruction. Thank Wait. you, Jason. You're awesome. Wait, so you... I'm confused. That's 
you said a snake bite extractor. So you, you plug your arm and you extract it from your arm if you got bit in the arm or something like that? No, no. no you put it over the snake's mouth and the snake bites into it. And, oh. and, and because of the rubber, it, ex, the, it he puts the venom inside of the the thing, and it takes the venom and, out of the snake. Now, why the heck would I want to try that? What if he misses? He, he decides to bite me instead. Dave Farmer's Yakov. There you go. I didn't know those insurance. I don't know those insurance people. I haven't watched regular TV commercials in years. I knew Jake. I don't know who the progressive lady is. I just know her as a progressive lady. That was my next guess. Venom and Extractor. I think that's Nick, uh, Leroy's new nickname, the Venom Extractor. So you can milk the venom from the snake. Yep. Yep, there's a theme song. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, someone got hurt. He just said, ow. Uh oh. Leroy needs to stop stabbing himself. Flow. <laughs> uh. Is that her name? Oh, you could be right. Hold on. Progressive insurance. <laughs> yep, it is flow. You are correct. Yes. We can't hear you now. I know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go do some interviews for a story. Nice. Good luck with that. Thank you. Have a great Have a day, day, Mickey. Don't you watch Coyote Peterson, Mo? My grandson's favorite. No, I don't, actually. Coyote Peterson. No, I don't. You should watch that, What's though. What's L-O? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> LPL. I thought it said LPL. I did. <laughs> oh, it did, and then she changed it. Okay. I was like, what's LPL? Laugh, people laugh? Yeah, pretty much. That's okay, Jennifer. I'm sending you a box. She's like, nobody's sending me a box. I'm sending you a box. My box is going to have a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a box that says, don't send me anything ever again. Uh, no, you know what would be funny? You know, like all these famous YouTubers, they always get boxes with stuff in them. Yes. Just send them an empty box. I know. <laughs> I would like you write really small on the bottom of the box, like tape it to the bottom, empty. Or <laughs> like better luck next time or something. Oh, that would be so funny. That would be so funny. I'm sending some Jen some bubble wrap baggies. Hey, that comes in handy. Oh yeah. Poly bags is another one. Poly bags are hard to find. Oh, well, what if you put it in there? Um, um, thumbs down. Just just an empty down. box with a little with a little thing. Just no, you, 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 or you say you, you send something that just says I just unsubscribed. It's an empty box. It just says I just unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is. I bet you they wouldn't do it. Like, they no. wouldn't tell everybody. No. And, and They'd be like, oh, would, yeah. Oh, he must have. Oh, he, and they make up some story about yeah. what it says. Yeah. We should do that. That'd be cool. We should do it. Who are we going to send it to, though? We'll send it to everybody. Just get a reaction video. But you need their addresses. To say, I mean. They all have their The big people? The oh, big people, the big people. Gotcha. Yeah. I have it, Jen, but I. Don't give that stuff out. Our secrets. Okay. Let me see. Who are we going to send it to? By the big people, you mean like like Gary V. Big or like? Uh... I'm not going to say who big, but no, it would be a reseller. 
resellers would miss. Okay. Like people, even some of them could be people I like. I'm just, I would just be curious. It'd be funny. It'd just be it would like, be funny. Or I'll send them. Now I wonder if this would work. You send Lonnie a box. Okay. Nothing in it, and in the bottom there's a blood, sweat, and cell sticker. But then he knows who he knows who it's from. Then that's okay. But, okay. But that's okay. Just a sticker only. Yeah. Just I, I, you should do it now. Do it. No. No. I think that'd be good. If I buy something from Jen's SB store or whatever she sells, Macari, then I can find it. I can find her address. Well, how do you know it's not like a peel box address or her like, it's still an address? address. She has to receive stuff from. I don't care. I'm not sending her personal address. I'm not sending her pizza. I I take a pizza. Somebody sent um a pizza. Um, did you see? Really? Ah. Yeah, last week. Is that like a real, like it's frozen or is it like? Oh, dude, you didn't see it? It was so uh -huh. funny. They said he's all nervous. Some, I think he has cameras outside of his house. So it's okay. like some, a car's pulling up. There's somebody else in my house. Oh, he must be going to the neighbor. I hope he's not going to my house. And then you're here. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, Dan, go answer the door. Your dog's going to stop barking. Then you're here. Rawr, rawr, rawr. He goes, he goes out there, he comes back, he's like, somebody sent me pizza. <laughs> it was so funny. Why, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd want a pizza. I mean, nobody sends me anything. And that's the weirdest thing, though. No, because that's how we are now. See, I'm too cheap. <laughs> Same here. Um, I think, isn't it weird when somebody calls you that you don't know or somebody knocks on the door you don't know? You're like, oh, my God. They had the, you know. There's times I don't see, I don't expect anybody to come to my house. So exactly. I, I, don't, I don't either. So I don't, like, I don't, like, I don't, I really don't want to answer it. So I, I actually get nervous real quick. And then I'll go grab, I'll go grab this and I'll walk to the door with my hand like this. Oh my goodness. Really? Oh, I really do. See, somebody's it's, had tacos sent this, to me. This day, I don't bring it to the warehouse a lot. I brought it to Wales because the boys were with me. But this Isn't there a me. rule about the, the length of the knife you're allowed to carry? Listen, you break into my house. I don't care what size the length is. Oh, that's different. You're actually legally allowed to yeah. whatever. Yeah. That In that case. See, somebody sent uh, Noel some tacos. Now, that's cool. Somebody got Dairy Queen? Who's sending out all this food? Like, Jen got Dairy Queen. Not how you need Dairy Queen delivered to your house so doesn't melt. DoorDash. Um, it's not mailed. Like <laughs> um Uber Eats or any of those. See now I have your address. I'm gonna send you some weird stuff. <sighs> what to say? I have I don't have your address, but I have your business address. Yes. So all I do is change the name. Yeah. To how do you know it's, it might not have been me? That might have been my my uh yeah. Change it to okay. more blood. When I opened up the, the, the shirt package, you should have saw it. I was like a kid in the candy store. I was excited. I really was. Because I'm I was glad like, it fit. Yeah. But I don't I want to put it in the back, dude. So bad. Do it. Yeah. When when Chris leaves um next week, well this weekend, I think Mark Mark and I are gonna go to the flea market and then I think we're gonna put a board here. That's gonna be you no know, like my my one I take my pitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do the same thing here. It's gonna be a white background, and I'm gonna put my flag, your shirt, and a couple of things on it, so you won't see this stuff here. Okay. Set it to curly and humble. There you go. Ah, spent my whole life hearing that. Where's curly? Oh, yeah. Really? Yes. Oh no. What happened? Bye. Bye. Time for Leroy to take off. No, he's left. He left us. Thank oh, he left. I thought it was somebody coming in. Okay. Greg is one super duper human. I need to check out uh, Rocky Mountain Resale. 
People are starting to get up, starting to hear noises out. Let's see. What would be the coolest food item you would send to somebody? I mean, so far I've heard tacos, I've heard Dairy Queen, I've heard pizza. I wonder. I'm not frozen. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, uh, you did? You see my eyes moving? I was trying. No, I, I just had a feeling like, hmm, is he faking it? <laughs> my eyes, I, I was, my eyes were moving. My eyes kept moving. I gotta message Taylor and tell Taylor to come out at three. Taylor. Stop. Thank you, Jen. What Jen do? She posted oh. Greg's uh, Rocky Mountain Resales YouTube channel. Homemade cinnamon rolls. Best item to send. Interesting. Okay. But then I would have to make them from home, though. That would be the difficult part. My wife could do it. I'd, I'd probably burn them. Got weed delivery in some states. That would be, yeah, you know what? There's probably a lot of states with that. Um, now that it's legal in a lot of places. I remember we used to have this guy that would come in before it was legal, and he would always have these sealed FedEx envelopes. And I could tell what it was, but uh, he would always pay for the most expensive express shipping there was. Um, and it'd always be on the same day around the same time. So, but he always paid on time and he was a good customer. So I have no problem with that. Oh, I gotta get the shipment out. I'm over here playing around. Finish, finish up, man. You got like five minutes before you said nine o'clock, right? The boys, or, um, 12 o'clock. Sorry, your time. The boys come. Are you gonna play the song? The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Uh, I'd be even more happy when my daughter comes. That's, where are you guys going to eat today? Are you what guys are they big eat? eaters or not big eaters? Some people we're are. Going, people. Well, no, we eaters. Me and Chris are eaters. We're going okay. downtown where the people go. We go downtown where the people go. We go down <laughs> down on Main Street. I know. I know, right, Jen? You're going to make that into a TikTok. She didn't just hear that, did she? Everyone heard that. Oh, I thought it was on mute. No. Uh-oh. Big money. Uh-oh. What did I make? It's a guy asking me if I have emblems from Florida. No, I don't have emblems from Florida. I love when people do that. Like, when you, like, like I, I, I sell one-off shirts, and you can know I exactly. say, like, Oh, do you have that in a small? Like, no, it's just one extra large T-shirt. Thank you for a respon response. Much appreciated, and have a fabulous day. I definitely will. Nine Guinness, thirteen hours, and two friends later. Have a great day. It's <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Oh, what is that? What happened? I sold something and I I heard something. Something should yeah, change. I didn't go look for it. Three, four, six, six. No, three, three, four, four. What? What is my problem? I know, man. What is your problem? Small box. It's three, four, four, small box, green.
Let's go in the small box. We're in the small box. And then we're going to look for 344. Four. Three. Three, four, four, small box screen. All right, let me open up YouTube and see what that is. Uh, let's see what the log was what posted. What did I do on YouTube? What? No, no, no. No, I had a link in the chat, but I can't click on it in the stream yard. I have to go open up the chat in YouTube. What are we looking at here? The Corona commercial. No. Nope. Oh, Macklemore. This is this is going to be what Leroy's afternoon is going to look like. Too bad I can't hear it, but I wonder what city this is in. Need to get Leroy a moped. I know, huh? OD, Melly Mel. There you go. Someone's been playing video games. Two billion views on Thrift Shop. How much money is that? I don't know. A lot. Yeah, it looks like a good song. I can't hear it. Anyway, you need to check on this and just watch it. He's got Ken Griffey Jr. there. Seattle, Washington. Ah. Need to get Leroy a moped. A We're moped watching a moped. video. You, you... Not sure where Tommy and Tracy are, but I personally want to tell them Happy St. Patrick's Day. I know that was random. Yes. <laughs> nice, Anthony. Can you play Thrift Shop on a guitar? I can. No, you can't. I can. You don't even own a guitar. Did you hear the song I was whistling? Yes. What was it? This is a Mario theme tune. Okay, you better have been. You better have been. Well, that's why I said, do you play video games now? I want to listen to this song. Is that the Progress commercial? I'm probably looking to probably. Yeah, Macklemore looks like he's Irish. I am Irish. I know. Is Macklemore like your half brother? Is who? Macklemore. Oh, John Macklemore? Is his first name John? Yes. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's a rapper. I don't listen to rappers. Yes, you do. No, I honestly don't. The music I know, I you're listen a, you're a, really listen to like Lauren Hook. None of you guys would like it. In your See, I knew Tommy was listening. Thank you, Tommy. Right. <laughs> and again, Tommy, I wanted to say I apologize for uh, being there for the whole thing yesterday. But I did want to say um, happy St. Patrick's Day to you because you're my man. That's a song. If you played the guitar, you couldn't hear it. Oh. Why I love Dave Matthews. <laughs> uh -huh. 
I wonder how good. See, it's funny watching a music video where not listening to the music. I'm just wondering what it actually sounds like because I have no idea what the song sounds like. The songs were made for the guitar first, then add the lead. Okay. If I had to take I think that's Mac and Roe. You know, I saw Mac and Roe play in real life, man. That guy was a beast. If I you know who John McEnroe is? No. What? You don't know who John McEnroe is? Yeah. He's no. Irish too. Or is he Scottish? I'm one of those. No, maybe he's Scottish. Sorry, you, I cut you off. What were you saying? I'm done with you. <laughs> you can't get down. It's St. Patrick's Day. You're supposed to be. Let find you a Yeah. I need a new co-host. Wait, you're if getting a new co-host? Interested, please message Mo and send him an email. He needs a new co-host three days a week. <laughs> uh, someone that allows me to eat, sleep, disappear for hours on end. Because the boys are taking me back to Rhode Island, they said. You serious? That's what they said. Uh-oh. You're gonna get up on some train, or uh, are they driving back? Or yeah, they, they both they they drove separate. Oh, okay. Yeah. So my friend Mark is he's been my friend for over twenty years, and he's um he's an ex marine, as you guys can tell, and he's um he's a uh, ex laborer. I mean, u- a union carpenter. So he's a very good carpenter. And then the the guy with the camera is my brother Chris. Nice. So, jeez. So now we know who, a little bit about Macklemore. There's Macklemore. If you didn't know, I didn't know he's from Seattle. Though. I got twenty dollars in my pocket. There we go. For what? was it Macklemore and a hole? Yes, he was. He's the. Uh, he's a bit of a loud mouth, but oh, is he related to me? No, I mean the guy would get you. No, he's not as big as you though. You, you, he's a skinny guy. But uh, he wouldn't mind getting anybody in anybody's face. I'd say, put him on play and psych through his songs. He wrote it. I've I've heard some of Macklemore stuff, not very much to be honest. But two, I've, obviously, I've heard Thrift Shop. But I told them they need to be back by twelve, and they're not here yet. Should I you call them and yell at them? Yeah, you don't want to start off your day on a bad note. Maybe they're they've already started without you. <laughs> no, that but that party has already been crashed. <laughs> <laughs> That's up to you, my friend. Don't be a taken Karen Leroy. <laughs> uh, oh, she said happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh. She knows I really like Kate Patrick's Day. Who's that? None of your business. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. John Mack Europe, entitled Hardworking, Excellent Tennis with a Temper. Yeah, John Mack, girl, I got to say, he's my favorite tennis player of all time. Leroy's a big fan, too. Can I FaceTime you? No. <laughs> I'm talking to you, jerk. <laughs> Such a jerk. Uh, hard day for me. Have to test video games life. So I know, huh? Oh, so tough, Anthony. Tough, right? Oh, poor thing. I feel so bad for you. Well, after his 200 push-ups. So. I was just gonna, I was just <laughs> he walked the dog. He probably, so here's the deal. It's I think he is an hour difference from me. So I think Anthony has already done at least 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, took the dogs out twice, listed seven things, and he's already has dinner prepared. Probably. Yeah, and he's probably thinking that he hasn't done much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, ah, I haven't done that much. Mm-hmm. Really, Jean King. I didn't really see much of her. 
And to be honest, in macro, I, I didn't see a lot when he his best things. I don't really remember because they're from the late seventies. So I saw them on rerun. But I did get to see John Macro play live. So that was pretty cool. Here's how you get your brother and your best friend back. Yes. Watch this. Just, uh, take a picture of a six pack that you're about to open. No, that would be an empty wrapper. No. Nope. You're Except for the listing. Love, glorious, excellent sign. See, I'm going to have to check these out afterwards, Noel. Glorious and then uh, Rope for Song. Okay. I will check that out. I might have heard it. I just don't know the song titles a lot of times. Oh, he hasn't shut up yet? Goodness gracious, Mark. Really? Goodness. I just called to check on you guys, make sure you guys haven't got lost or anything. I goodness, Poor Chris. You're at the peach. Listen, I told you to be back here for 12 o'clock. It's 12.09. I want to get out of here. I'm not staying at work all day. <laughs> okay all right i'll hang i'll hang out on my britches pitches bye half hour but <laughs> Size 14. A pair of leopard sneakers. Goodbye. What? Yep. You were going to get me leopard sneakers. Oh, for you. Did you buy sneakers? All right. All right. Bye. Good thing that was on mute. Oh, no, it wasn't on mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you didn't even talk, huh, Mo, the whole time. You just were, Nobody was talking. We were just like <laughs> watching you. <laughs> You're a jerk. That's right. And I'm good at it. Was that a fun conversation? Yes. I'm <laughs> 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 are you all still here? Yeah, we're still here, Holly. We, we are. But Leroy's about to yeah, extend the Leroy World Tour downtown. I love seeing Leroy in rare form. I'm not in rare form. I'm good. Rare form, rare form is when I get nervous. Wait, how weird. are they half an hour away? I thought you lived like two minutes away. No, they went um to the outlets. Oh. Yeah, my brother, my brother, when he goes somewhere, he has like planned out things he wants to do. Okay, he wanted to go to the outlets, and he's like, Well, why don't you do your morning show? And I'll go for a ride with Mark to the outlets. Okay, that's cool. Take it easy, Holly. Who's leaving? Holly, going to the post office. Bye, Holly. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, there we go. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Very important on this channel. Mo never even knew what it was before he met me. I'm wearing and orange. About Black History Month and St. Well, Patrick's Day. There's a green wall back there. Does that count? The rest of the year, I don't talk much unless it's my birthday. Yes. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. You don't talk much? When did this happen? <laughs> I was going to throw this at the computer. Then I would have to go see the computer. I should go to the computer guy with my brother and Mark. You should. And I think you get a free computer out of it. You think I'd get a free computer? A couple. I need one for my brother and my other brother. Chris would be like, hey, what's going on? How you doing? He's, <laughs> he's quiet. Like He's funny, but he's Chris is very um, – You if you mess with his family, then forget about it. Forget about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See that that's maybe scarier. Like somebody yelling in your face can be scary, but the person who's generally doesn't talk that much and just starts talking out of nowhere, that can be scarier. Because then, then you know they mean it. When Chris gets turned off, it it is not I'm 
I've had a couple of times where I've been afraid of my own brother. And I grew up with this kid since I was 10 years old. And the same thing with my buddy, Mark. So Mark has been in the military for 20 years. And I've been in a couple of those two guys are the ones I've been in the, the most scariest heated things in my life was with those two guys. Uh, one guy was just totally disrespecting my buddy Mark. And I thought he was going to, I thought it was, was going to kill him. Yikes. It, it was like, it was just, the guy was being rude and, you know, it, you know, you, you know, you never realize this, but a lot of people, and if anybody here is, I'm, I'm just speaking for myself. So this isn't Mo's opinion. This isn't the chat's opinion. This is my opinion. But there are so many, dis, there are so many discriminatory things in, in the world. Yeah. And some people are very discriminative against military people. That you know, I've seen it firsthand. Yeah, um, and my buddy is a, he's proud, so he has the emblems on his car, and you know, blah 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 blah. So he brings attention to himself. You know, where you know a lot of people like I don't have a sticker on my car that says I'm half black. Look, I don't yeah. have that on my car, but I know what I am inside my heart. And yeah. if I want to talk about it, I can. The only thing that I bring attention to myself is my steel assemble, and I get grief for that. So it doesn't matter what you like, people are going to have an opinion. If Mo had a Titleist hat on, people say, oh, well, I hate Titleist. I like Holloway. <laughs> well, good for you. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear one on Friday, and I have a Titleist hat. But, but you know what I mean? So Yes, I do. I know. It, it's just um, – it's it just, to me, it's like – I've seen it with my buddy and it's, it sort of sucks because, you know, yes, I really feel that there's times where he needs to just chill out. Like you're, you're not there no more. Like chill out. Yeah. But people do attack any of us. Like even on YouTube, people attack us because, Oh, oh no. you sell all the things. Why do you just sell tools? Or, Oh, why do you sell in your basement? You should have a warehouse, you know, it, People attack each other because they don't want to attack themselves. And when I mean attack themselves, they don't really want to know. They try to block out stuff in their stuff. This turned to Lee Rice Council in session. But they don't yeah. want to block out things that they're really going through. So they're going to attack us. You know? But you have to be... I see the chat going crazy. I'm going to shut up in two seconds. But you have to also be mindful of everybody has an opinion. That's true. Everybody an opinion so you guys might say something that i don't like i might say something that you don't like that's your opinion you know what i still love you happy st patrick's day guys <laughs> it came full circle eventually <laughs> uh, so you can go back uh, and read the chat <laughs> i am i was reading the chat the whole time though i was just uh, holly wanted to meet your brother but i think she might be gone by now uh she didn't get to i'm trying to get chris and mark on the show for friday okay for like an hour sit down thing okay i've got some questions just can't wait until next month when leroy wears his bunny outfit all <laughs> i just read that too <laughs> tommy go, you, go go kiss rock sorry i was gonna say something else but <laughs> you have a bun you have a bunny outfit really <laughs> i thought i was the only one we can wear them together. Oh, it can be like a bonding moment. Oh, All right, I didn't say that. Oh, oh, see, look at that. See, master. See, I knew it. Don't mess with her. She'll, she'll bust out the pipe. Let's see here. Measure an original. You want to use the same measurements in Paris? Yep. She's like, we need to call Lisa on, guys. Yes. Yes, it's sometimes certain locations be slightly less. I've seen a few times. Yep. I'll pitch in a dollar. <laughs> I'll pitch in dollars for the bunny outfit for Leroy. I have a what did my my daughter got me something last year? It's like a, a donkey outfit. It's like a full onesie. I'm not wearing it though. I assume it was because maybe I'll wear it on April first if we do the April. Oh, we still forgot about the April first show. We're still on for April first though, right? We should be. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I'll wear the donkey outfit for the entire April first. But only if Leroy wears a bunny outfit. 
claim we told my videos and now is no joke. Go look. Opinions are like <laughs> everyone has I've one. My dad, my dad tells me I've heard that many times too. Even when Pirate Shirt's not cheaper, it's usually 20 cents for me in middle USA. Okay. I'm driving out, but uh, oh, driving but here. Okay. Kiss rocks. Is it chew gravel or uh something gravel? Somebody told me that one time. Chew gravel, I think it was. Isn't that a New York thing or an East Coast thing? Spit gravel, chew gravel, eat gravel, something like that. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Yeah. I kick rocks all the time. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Yes, this is me again. I know I'm still on this boring show with Mo, you know, from around the way. He's out in California. I'm here in Spunkburg, South Carolina, just chilling, hanging out with my boy Tommy and my boy Leroy and my boy Anthony and my girl Noelle. We're just chilling. Hanging out on the morning show. Come check us out one day. We'd love to see you guys in the chat. Have a great day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'm out of here. There you go. Good job. I'm practicing. You're practicing. You, get it? you have to. I want you to go out, take that camera with you. And one for like 10 seconds, pretend when you're in the middle of a big crowd today. And then make an Instagram short. Just anything. Just say whatever. This is Leroy Blood coming to you from downtown Spartanburg with my boys. And just make a video. You got to do it now. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Triple dog dare you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Noel. The funny thing is he doesn't realize I'm really here practicing. <laughs> He's really going to do it now. Watch. We're gonna see a, a no, because I won't bring that camera downtown. When you uh, go yeah. downtown, you bring your ID, and one guy brings a license. In case anybody loses anything or anybody gets in a fight, you don't get ID'd. No, I'm 46 years old. If they ID me, I'll spit in the face. <laughs> okay. Here's the funny thing: we you go to places down here now, they ID everybody still, and and I, I look at them like seriously, they all, they all know me. No, it's not that. It's like it's obvious. And like, I mean, look at me. But I mean, like, okay, I'm flattered. Fine, you think? <laughs> and they no, I think they have to. It's like uh, there, I there you go. I got no money. Please don't <laughs> shove it up his nose. That's true. <laughs> you just see the knife go through the oh, ring. This. this video gets like ten thousand views. Man puts knife through nose, St. Patrick's Day, drinking Guinness. Ugh. That's the end of your day. Oh, no. I put a Band-Aid. <laughs> Try to do with distance. The shipping routes. Okay. Susie, I'm sorry today is not where you want it to be. It's my fault. We're all over the place. No. Oh. <laughs> So what's going on for the rest of the day, Mo? Is the is the wife making some corned beef and cabbage or what? No, uh, I have to. I'm probably on the road in like two hours. Then I have to get back because I have a bunch of stuff I need to ship out, and I'm going to be stressed in a little bit because I got none of it right here with me. Is there a no bull um, uh, video today? No bull video. Yeah, with the boys, um, with Topher. I haven't seen Topher today. That's on Friday, isn't it? Is it Friday? Usually it's on Friday. I mean, it wasn't one last week. I think it's um, – hold on. I could see. I know Susie, Susie, did you see me do anything eBay-related today? Yes, you did. Did you see Mo do anything eBay-related? No, you did not. I did. Well, I, was... I still got my work done, Susie. Let me see here. Uh, let me type eBay. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Hold on. Let me see, no flips, I don't know. 
No one's gonna get Fulu. <sighs> that sounds good. Friday. Okay, they're on Friday. I'd like one of those. What would you like, Mom? Donuts. Is your no. donut gay there? No donuts. Donuts. Well, five things that even clean the kitchen while watching. Does that count? Nice, Noel. That's awesome. I saw five things. My eBay is acting up today. Yeah, my eBay is just acting up. It's not letting me scroll. Mo, I'll be right back. Okay. I had my cocktails last night with Tommy, Tracy, and Pete. Today I'm back to work. I want to have enough fun for both of us. Yep. I haven't gone out in St. Patrick's Day in years, so he can do it for the both of us. I think today on eBay is going to be a little bit slower until tonight. Maybe we'll get some midnight sales. F yep, exactly. Uh, I'm tired just thinking about it. I am getting some listings done, slowly but surely. The few pictures that I have left. I have antique diamond and gold and platinum jewelry to list. Nice. Hopefully that goes for a lot of money. Crazy how many friends I've told about pirate ship that don't resell. Love it. I mean, why not? I mean, I'm sure there's other companies other than pirate ship that do well. Like, um, what, they, what was Topher was talking about was uh, something ship. I forget what it's called. There's another one too. There's a couple of them, but I did sign up for uh, that international thingy. I forgot what it's called now. I'm blanking on it through pirate ship. Uh, here we go. He's practicing again. The lift tools, though. Tell people the post office every day. Nice. <laughs> so who's driving? Uber. Ah, smart. Are you you're close enough that you can walk home from here, right? Uh, to the where to home, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we don't drink and drive, guys. So we don't have to worry about that. Ah, simple export rate. Yeah, that's what I signed up for yesterday. <sighs> yeah, I live. Right. Home. It, I'll be honest with you, and I hate to say this, it's safe for me. <laughs> it would be safer for me to drive home, not now, but it would be safer for me to drive home than walk home. It's so dangerous. I say this to you guys all the time. It, I've walked and been around a lot of places, but me trying to walk a, a half a mile home is so scary. You said because the road's not really there. The roads either. are so bad, yeah. So I'm going to turn you this way a little bit. Okay. Um, so I can, I just got to put some labels on some stuff. Okay. Told my PO box you holders. Oh, put it out. Do you use nice. the pack and slip? Do you guys use the pack and slip? No. I do. You send them a packing slip? 
Mom, are you keeping it so I can look at my item? Nah, I don't bother. I don't print it out. It saves a label. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I I don't like to recycle everything. Just some stuff. Simple uh, exports. Three thirty-four, and it is Robert. Three thirty-four, Robert. Where are you, Robert? Robert. Uh oh, I can't find Robert. Oh, that's Robert. I found Robert. It's right here. There you go. You know what I hate is these guys. These guys are the biggest recycling suck. I think they're so dangerous for everything, and I hate them. Yeah. That is true. So that is 337 Robert. Robert and Robert is going to... M N. What is this link? Hold on, let me open up my YouTube again. Draws bag. All right. What are you looking at now? One is going to Mike. What's up, Mike? 41, there you are. 41, Mike. Mike's ah, the college the picker. Nice wireless thermal printer for home business. Wow, the beginning of this video is hard to watch, though. I'm going to watch it with no sound on, too. Wireless thermal printer. Yeah, they have them. The next one is going to Robert. Robert is going to IN, and Robert's number is 60, 663. 663. Which is for Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, my friend. The next one is going to Derek. Yikes. In Texas, Derek, 77751. What's going on, Derek? I want my 10%. I don't care who you are, you owe me 10%. percent i will buy a Rolo. How many has Leroy had? I don't know. 13, 14. The next oh, one is going to David. What's up, David? David Rolo is the best period. Or buy some Rolo candy. There you go. David Why no is up to six six two. Why? Six six two goes to David. Rolo David is going to. I've never, I've, I use a zebra right now. I use a zebra. Rolo is solid. We're taking a zebra to downtown. Now I'm looking. I'm watching. Uh, Eric's, uh, what do you call it, the College Pickers um, video, and he's doing, I can't hear the sound, though, because I didn't want to, I don't know if he has music in the background, so I don't want to turn on. I doubt he does, but. Uh-oh, it's Chris. Always. Okay. Hello. Hey, how can I stop my sugar tip? We're going to be about two more minutes. Whatever. Bye. No, you can come in because I'm still doing a couple Whatever. Of you were going to have a drink. A brother printer does every platform. Did you hear him yelling at me, guys? He yelling at me. Don't yell at me. Just get inside. Bye. Hey, don't yell at me. He's a sensitive guy. Two, four, eight, six. 
Oh, I like this brother printer. It looks kind of cool. Uh oh, oh guys, this back. Four by six. Though. Okay. Aren't they like four hundred dollars? What happened to no fees at St. Patty's? I know. David, just... David number six four six one. And David is going to IN. Eric does the pros and cons on every thermal printer out there. He has a video of each of them. Take the time to watch them before you buy the thing. See, I got my here's the thing. I got my I always tell this to people. I got my Zebra printers, and I've got multiple free from UPS. So if they still allow you to open up an account and get a free label printer, I would do it. So, free. And I like my Zebra. Do, how much did you pay for it? Chris got it for free, same way you got yours. Exactly. Yeah. So call up your UPS, call up your FedEx, maybe even DHL. I don't even know. It might not be better than a Rolo. I've never used a Rolo, so I can't complain. I can't compare. But um, free is good in my book. But if it ever breaks, then I will have to, because I don't know if they hand them out free anymore. I would buy another one. You can get them really cheap online. I, I've, I've I seen them for one fifty. For $60. I have never, I've, I've seen them for one fifty. dollars I've never seen them that cheap. I see them on Facebook Marketplace for like 65 75 bucks. I would buy one and flip it if it was that cheap. They, I'm, I'm telling you, I bet. Watch, watch this. He's like, all right, let's go to eBay right now. Hold on, doors locked. Zebra, what is my zebra four fifty? I think. Man. Uh oh. Yeah, they're going for like one fifty, one eighty. No, actually, one has forty. No, it's forty three. Is it? It's on auction now. Don't sell on Amazon. Does that make a difference? Uh, it makes a difference at the size of the label, but no, I don't think so. Label is a label. I, I use the Zebra for Amazon. I just have to cut the labels, but you can switch the size because it's got a what do you call it? The whatever you call it on the inside moves. You can just change the size of the label. Uh, yeah, they're all about four, 150, 140, 147, 230. About 100 bucks. Hey, Leroy, how's it going, man? Hey, how are you? Pretty good. So Leroy doesn't like to tell anybody. Don't take this the wrong way. This is just yeah. me joking. But he's white on the inside. He has told us. Actually. I've exposed him now. Did you know this? <laughs> I'm his brother from another mother. We did know this actually. He told us. A, he told us a little bit about that. Did he tell you about that? A little bit. I'm the Italian side. He's the Irish side. Oh, nice. I'm nice. the better half. There, Leroy. Did you hear that? He's the better half. He knows. He knows. He knows. So what's on the what's on the itinerary for today? Uh, liquid lunch. There you go. He already started way before you did. <laughs> yeah, we know, but you know what? Won't take me long to catch up, and he'll be asleep in two hours. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, trust me, trust me. Is he? A, he's a lightweight then. Uh, he starts early and he finishes early. There we go. <laughs> he can't hang with the big dogs. Oh, so what are you having for lunch there? I don't know. I. Wherever he wants to go. You're the boss. Leroy's the boss. He's going to tell us where we're going. Nice. Nice. I've never nice. been here, so. He's been holding that camera like it's actually working this entire time. So, it's, so I, I was telling him he has to actually make a real video when he's out in the bar somewhere. So you told him that you can see the red light on the front when it's on and there's yes. no red light? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He's trying to play act like it's a real thing. Yeah, he, he, he's, he is. He's, he's big time now, you know? I know, huh? You gotta love Leroy. I mean, you can't not love him. Every, they, all these people are here for Leroy. They, they all love him. See, he's a character. But it's like I was just telling his brother. It's always all about Leroy. Never. That's right. Oh yes. This guy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. There you go. He never oh, stopped. He was doing that to my butt before I went to shower. <laughs> <too. laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what, you think I'm going to be any different? Hey, go be nice. His, his family watches us. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be a good boy. <laughs> nah, there's no family here. Don't worry about it. We want to know the. We want to know about the real Leroy. So the, the real Leroy. The real Leroy is. Did he tell you I proposed to him with a stuffed dog? I did not know that. That that I'd love to know the story. Oh my god. <laughs> so so here's a, see see what he was just doing to me, right? Leroy and I. Yes. I've known Leroy a long time. Yeah. So Leroy and I play like lovers a lot in public. Okay. Oh. And we freak people out. <laughs> so we were working in Martha's Vineyard, and we used to go to Black Dog. Yes. A little like, coffee shop. Yeah. Oh yeah. We used to he was like, I want a puppy. Leroy, we're not getting a puppy. And we'd be in public in front of people. What do you mean we're not getting it? Leroy, we're not getting it. You can't handle yourself. I'm not giving you a puppy. <laughs> and people would think we were really talking about a puppy. So, like, this went on for, like, months. Oh, <laughs> his birthday comes. I go into Black Dog, and I buy a black stuffed animal. <laughs> and he doesn't know it. So we, we get to the job site, and... That's not the puppy I bought you. The puppy I bought you was black. <laughs> so I get to the job site and I get out of the car before him. And I get down on one knee and he comes around the car. I go, Leroy, come here. He comes in front of me. I'm like, the whole job site. The whole job site's watching this. I'm down on one knee. And I hand him the bag and I go, Will you marry me now? And he opens the bag and screams like a little girl. You got me a puppy. <laughs> it was actually really, really, really comical. I wish that was on video. Oh, oh that'd be that'd be priceless. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So, oh man, that'd be priceless. Everybody, I, I could see him doing that. I oh, could totally see him doing that. Yeah, yeah, it's you got a lovely way. You can't not lovely way. But yeah, that's uh, how we are together. So. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, you guys. I want to see some video from you, whatever Dude, you guys do. Better that. when the drool comes off us and it's like this one. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no video. Get out of my chair. I don't want to see you no more. All right, I'll share more stories later. I'm here all week. Don't worry. Uh, excellent, excellent. We want to hear them on Friday. Oh, yeah. Wait till today's over. You didn't get Chris over here yet. Chris, you want to come say hi? Chris will come say hi. No, guys. I don't got no, no stories. Go in the hot seat. You got <laughs> plenty of stories. Story. You live with me for 20 years. How's it going now? How's it going? Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah we're going to have a good time tonight. We'll probably have a story. You're going to be on tomorrow? Or uh, Friday. Friday. So he'll have quite a few stories. Nice. We'll probably try to get some video, too. Yeah, nice. Since I get to yeah. I am. Yeah. They're lovers. I, I'm just a, I'm a brother. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 I, 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 <laughs> well, I, a few of these, and I'm going to be good. <laughs> You're just sitting in the background laughing? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. He's the middle. He doesn't want to say it. <laughs> I cleaned up for this. I, I manscaped and everything. So like, nice. Yeah. It's going to be a smooth ride. Oh, boy, you want us to cut this off because I don't want to get you in trouble. You won't get me in trouble. I'll let you guys go, though, because I don't want to hold you up. No, you're not holding us up. No, no, I, no, no. Tracy's we, here. Tracy, Tracy is here. Tracy's awesome. No, Say hi to Tracy. I'm, I'm, hi, I'm Tracy. telling you, I want some video footage of whatever you do. We need yeah, some, no, we need some we evidence. We were in his element, so this is good. Tracy is awesome. She has a night. She has a night show with Tommy. Tommy and Tracy. That show is wicked. You guys would like that show. Like they, yeah. they don't hold no, nothing back. They're like whatever. The Tommy and Tracy. Show? The Tommy and Tracy. Show. Well, it's actually Tommy Bernard show, but Tracy is his guest, and she. She's in Texas and she's mad cool. Oh, cool. So, all right. I guess we'll end it. She said three's a company. <laughs> also, well, man. Leroy, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mo, you end it. I'm going to say. All right. Name. I'm going to let, I'm going to end it here, but we want to hear it. video footage. That's all I'm, I'm going to leave it with that. I need some video footage of whatever you do today. Don't make sure charge up that camera right now. No problem. We'll take out the GoPro. But it's smaller. And it's smaller. Yeah, we got the we got a GoPro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see it. All right, guys. Everybody, be safe. We will be safe. We promise you guys will be safe. You guys be safe. Take care. We'll see you guys again on Friday. Mo, thank you very much for a lot. <laughs> thank you very much for inviting me. No, All right. Have a good one. Stay safe. Let's make some money. I'll try. Have a good one, man. <laughs> <laughs>
See ya. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>